And people in the political movement aren't looking into that work. People in the alternative media aren't looking into that work. They're not looking into those origin stories. They're still talking about politics and money and, you know, whether the solution is capitalism or socialism. I mean, it's pathetic. It's so, um, that. you know, again, what I'm looking to do with my work is... Yeah, so... So, um, yeah, uh, a lot of people get mad at us, and as we'll watch in this evening, a couple videos of people getting upset at us because we talk shit or we're um, abrasive or uh, too blunt over here. But, you know, like these are the peers of Mark Passio here, um, people on his network. They're saying we're being too, we're talking shit. Um, but we're supposed to be hard on these people that aren't doing things right. Um, I don't know why these guys are feeling like they're victims um, when they're clearly not taking things to the fullest extent. Um, you we're know, holding them accountable for, you know, we're for their words and their actions and their de decisions and choices and the decisions and choices that they promote to other people. And, you know. And we're hoping to make better yeah basically. yeah we've found there's some things that do not align with natural law to put it simply yeah what do you think braxton yeah, I think, yeah, I think, <laughs> um, um did you do you have that video saved for the uh the hypothesis yeah hypothesis thing that i brought up earlier this guy here oh, this guy, different, uh, same guy but different uh different yeah. video video this one? Um, no, I don't have anything else. This was the only one we saved. We can probably look it up real quick. Okay. Is it really a, good transition, a better transition than this one? I mean, we could get into this if we want, uh, but I guess uh, I, the other video might be better to just kind of uh, break down what's wrong about his arguments, I guess. Yeah, we can play it real quick before this one. Okay. Wait, what's it called? Or no, I mean, like we could show the like what happened on here, and then show like the correction afterwards, I guess. Or trying to which, okay, which one do you want me to do first? You can do this one. You can do this one. Okay. So um, we've been, you know, mildly pestering uh, Will Keller here for a while because he seems very close. Um, but no cigar and he's kind of, it seems like he's kind of held up as the, as the golden boy of one great work. Um, and, um, I haven't really seen much of his work. I know Braxton and Devin and, you know, um, some people in the group have seen a lot more of his stuff and explained, you know, what the situation is here. And I was kind of, um, I don't know. So we're going to watch this video. I guess they mentioned this is the new segment we're doing here on um, on VGT Live called VGT in the Wild, where uh, people on other podcasts talk about us. Um, if anyone out there ever sees anyone on a podcast talking about us, please let us know so we can feature it in this segment we're going to be doing every week. Uh, but um, yeah, so Braxton's going to narrate this. You want me to start it? Or, or give, uh, us yeah, yeah, give us okay, a preface. Give us a preface. So, like a little bit ago, I caught uh, I caught this stream going live, and I don't recall everything that was being discussed. It was a presentation. I caught the tail end of it, but I decided to just kindly mention that there's a couple of inconsistencies uh, from what he was presenting versus his uh, stance on veganism. And his answers were pretty disappointing, to say the least. Okay. I'll let, uh, yeah, there was a little bit of a squabble that happened in the comments. I didn't go on video. But... So you've been commenting. Yeah, I've been trying to comment. Uh, uh, earlier comment, you know, was uh, she says, yeah, there you go. Yeah, talking yeah, about two people, people, but. It's talking about two people, and I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of corroborating the inner and, and outer, which is always at play, the, the correspondence there. It definitely applies to both. Um, that is 
the power of the union between man and woman. This is why there's such a strong war against this. There's such disruption of polarity and healthy relationship dynamics between men and women. It is the single greatest divide in the human collective for a reason. Yes, exactly. For a really good reason. That polarization, you just take out, you know, you, you, yeah. You influence, it's 50% of the population. Um, and then, at, you know, with a, a dialectic, oh, it's coming up. The other, the other 50 is going to respond in some form or fashion. So it, it's affecting 100%. 100%. These guys are as bad as us. Patty talked about the uh, April 8th, 8th solar eclipse. You know, um, yeah, this is right during the season of sacrifice. Interesting enough. So, you know, be vigilant. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, and, uh, and enjoy that, that portal of energy. Right. That's going to be a good one. That's important. Of course. Yeah. It's, yeah, these natural yeah. events are for it's us. us. Yes. We are natural yeah. beings. beings. We are part, of, part of the ecology, the ecology of, of, of all of that. All of that. They are the ones that are, ones hacking, that are hacking these these events, events these energies. 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 It's not theirs. Not theirs. You know. And no. so, like, so, like, I assume you I mean assume by concerned that, that they're that gonna do something, something to co-opt co that, that energy. But the thing the itself, itself is is natural and beautiful and, and should not should be not feared. I don't think that's what you're saying necessarily, but I'm just saying, just saying to me that's to what's me, important that's is important. to keep that empowered mindset, mindset of like, of like these, events these events are for us. For we are, we are natural, natural born human beings of earth. Huh? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Well we said. can utilize that energy for ourselves. <laughs> they might do something. <laughs> something. There's nothing we can do to stop that if they're going to. Uh, but we can tap into that if we want to and empower ourselves through that. Nature is here for us. Right. We're allowed to well kill animals and violate their property rights because they're here for us. Is this that? What's, it, what's this called, Braxton? The ism uh, that they are? Uh, I think you could call it Soxism. No, there was something else. The the sentience is sentience is animism. Oh, yeah, the cop out. Animism. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The cop out. Yeah, because it it I just mean, kind of seems like a form 100%. of like. percent. It's like moral relativism because they're just kind of creating their own reality and just like shifting things, at, you know, to make it work for their own little, their own perspective, I guess. That doesn't sound like natural law. Mark does not approve. Does not approve. <laughs> There's so much of that going around uh, the fear porn, and I rarely pay attention to it. Um, I mean, this is something that's been going on for years and years. There's always some date that's going to it's going to be the rapture. You can see how active the Christians are right now. You know, oh, it's, it's the rapture. In the cycling industry, in the cycling scene, we call this all the kit and none of the shit. You got, you know, these dudes that spent all this time to learn how to do, uh, you know, broadcasting or production and stuff. And and he's got his cool little name for his show, Will Tell Truth. And he's got his little neon light, you know, and it's like the presentation is all there, um, you know. But if like you don't if you haven't taken it the full way, like it just falls flat. Um I know we haven't really quite gotten the, to it. It's just <laughs> the eclipse is is signaling this and that. It's it's all you know perception, management for behavior control. It's to coerce and hijack your energy. These these people are they're parasites. A parasite needs to feed off of a host, so they don't create anything new. They just people? manipulate, invert, and that's that. I think Hyperlink has some questions he, he would like to address. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's see. Good old hyperlink. Let's see which one. Hyperlink, can you put your main question in the chat again? You you had several. Yeah, he'd been dodging me. He'd been dodging me. I already know where these questions are going. 
Oh boy. Damn vegans. I'm such a victim. My damn uh is are holding me holding me Should we accountable. sacrifice our dependency on stealing the rights of animals and sensory pleasure <clears throat> or Christ conspiracy poses this question is there a spiritual way to kill an animal I'll give him this one question because it's nonstop on this and and I'm not sure why wouldn't guys, it be nonstop a lot of the the vegans coming after if you me, don't answer the question um, and I stand my ground on it I mean I I am a vegetarian of five years um and vegetarian doesn't mean anything like you're still this is this is the first thing this guy tries to do you're still like he's like oh uh, it's just dairy or that's just eggs or just cheese you know like you're still a part of the the uh the factory farming system you're still supporting it so your your karmic inventory is still there and he's trying to make it seem like he's since he's cut down um and become a vegetarian that that's um some like that's as far as go. and another thing me and Devin talked about um last week's show uh mark passio makes a big deal about how it's really not easy to convert from veganism from uh carnism to veganism um which i entirely disagree with um and i think like these guys that don't aren't willing to do the work uh to do this the right way um they're kind of holding on to that oh well mark was vegetarian for 12 years that means i could get away with being vegetarian for 10 years before i actually do anything you know i'll just wait till i'm more unhealthy and then i'll go vegan it will be you know be worth doing then and just like do this half-ass now where you're still you're still contributing to the death of these animals um you think dairy there's no death involved with dairy um you think you think like uh, and the whole yeah like i don't know so but, and the last, so the last to think part that of the question is there a spiritual way to kill an animal i don't see why that is um that, what's wrong with asking that yeah. question and as a vegetarian i think shouldn't he kind of understand sort of empathize and have a response to that i know he's okay so he's obviously triggered right and it's kind of revealing he said the statement i'm going to stand my ground which to me sounds like i have this stuck in my head and i'm unwilling to change or examine myself and, and in when it comes to this topic stubbornness yeah stubbornness lack of teachability mm -hmm. um Which but yeah all, it's it's sorry go ahead are familiar words you know yeah teachability but yeah i just thought it's interesting it's, okay so if you're a vegetarian then you should kind of understand where this comment where braxton's comments comments coming like, why from. would it I, trigger you yeah interesting like in any way if you're this spiritual master, uh, why would this trigger you at all? Veganism is going to correct and get us out of our current condition of slavery. You're wrong. Okay. Um, I wonder where he's getting this from. <laughs> so he said focusing focusing on veganism is gonna not going to help us out at all, getting us out of yeah. human slavery. I That's, mean, honestly, look. Correspondence as above, so below. The fractal nature, nature of the universe. I mean, how aren't these embedded in these teachings of that? How that's what there are actions produce the outcome and our environment that you know our external environment. Question mark. Yeah, <laughs> like um, you know, most the anti-war you know, old school yeah. philosophers and stuff, you know, Leo Tolstoy, as long as there are slaughterhouses, there always be battlefields. Cause I think this, this guy, by, by telling himself that um, he's vegetarian now and using this, he thinks he's out of this, uh, this, this uh, circle of death, basically um, the factory farming system in the USA that's fully funded by tax dollars subsidies uh, and um you know edmund burke liberty does not exist in absence of morality so like if you're you're willing to give up some of your morality uh, just for a certain taste in food 
you know, it's a very slippery slope to back to factory farming. Like you're not, that's like minarchism. Oh, we'll let a little, little, little government happen. You know, like it's cool to have a little government, but we all know government is a vacuum. And, um, you know, you can't just have a little bit of government, just like you can't just have a little meat eating and a little bit of carnism. Like it's, it's directly connected with all this stuff. Well, the shit grows. I mean, it's a business. Businesses are designed to grow. How the hell are you going to have a small mom and pop's farm and and not have it turn into a factory farm? You know, Pythagoras in, in, you know, as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. Indeed, he who sows the seeds of murder and pain cannot reap the joy of love. Like, these are all things that, like, I'm finding... I'm finding these quotes on on Will Keller's, um, you know, his his peers in his uh, the network he's in, and these people seem to completely understand what's going on here. Yet this guy doesn't. So we'll get back. Uh, where'd the where'd the video go? Um, it's over here. Uh, is it still up? It's, that's not the pathway. Sure, you could talk about morality, you could talk about rights, etc., etc. Is that what this is all about? On the belief in human authority, i.e., government, is the first step. Is the first step. Sure, if someone can do that, if someone's on their spiritual path and they can incorporate that in their diet, less harm. I'm all good with that. I agree with that. That's dope. But for the V, you are playing into the uh hold on let me let me <laughs> he's jumping around quite a bit um what did he first say he's saying that first first things first we need to teach oh yeah 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 that. okay so we can't we chew gum and walk at the same time here we can only focus our energy on one thing like what kind of <laughs> argument is that what kind of argument is like that making excuses it's made but and it's purely ignorant. Ignorant, another word we know quite well that's familiar. Like, holy crap. Ignorance. Ignorance. Ignoring. Ignore. You're not nescient. You know the information is there, but yeah. you choose to ignore it. You choose. You know the information, and you're choosing the more, more harmful, more moral, immoral choice. Because you're lazy, because you want a certain taste. And I, I don't personally believe, you, believe you're even vegetarian. Uh, why would you defend your, this, this question, this in t deep question that you should question yourself about? Why would you get this upset over this? And why would you demonize vegans who are, who are you know, freedom lovers and are trying to spread natural law and morality? And are living in alignment with that. Why would you just because you're annoyed that there are so many of them are in your comments? I don't, I don't really, um, I don't really understand. I see it's a lot of yeah. It's his ego responding because he feels like uh, the vegans are stepping on his show and his territory, and he's going to stand his ground again. To me, it's that sounds divisive and that sounds polarizing. Not vegans. We're trying to show people a better way for animals and humans. That's not polarizing as much as triggering as it may be to someone in their emotions. It is, it is not objectively not polarizing. Yeah. And it's generalizing millions of people and like, yeah, it's, it's just a shocking response. And like, like, this is the thing is that like, I, I've heard about Will from, you know, a bunch of people. And I was actually, I thought he, I actually over, um overestimated you know this guy and then i see he's only got like a few followers on youtube and doesn't get that many views and then he's talking like this openly and then leaves it up like wouldn't you be embarrassed and like delete this like thinking that like i don't know mark might see it you know some guy that you uh, uh, allegedly respect and looked up towards like this is shocking no, he's essentially he's admitting also something I just realized he, he's admitting that he feels like he won't get as many views maybe if he talks about veganism because he 
because he's saying, oh, it's so important. First things first, let's talk about the human aspect. Let's not, we're wasting our time because why? Because not as people are, any, as many people are going to watch your show. Appealing you know, to the crowd. That be honest then and say, I don't think that I'm going to reach enough audience spreading enough people, a big enough audience spreading natural law and morality if I include vegan. That would be a more honest answer. Braxton, you need to eat meat so we can teach people that the government's bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, people don't already know that government's the problem, dude. Are you kidding me? What year is this? Like, we figured this out 10 years ago. We're at peak people knowing that the government's bad right now. And these things go hand in hand. I mean, subsidies, subsidies of the meat and dairy industry being the number one subsidized industry, food industry. You and it's, it all goes hand in hand. Like we You wouldn't it. afford this meat that you love so much. You wouldn't be able to afford it without government subsidies. So how is that in line with natural law? <laughs> yeah. So my, my mother, she's in her 70s. She literally refused to take the shot with the, the vaccine or the jab. <laughs> so, I mean, like, even, like, the older generation, the boomers, are starting to realize, like, she, she actually went vegan, too, started eating right. She's down 33 pounds. She's doing good. Her heart's getting better. I was real worried she was taking medicine. I'm rambling on about my mother, but... Ali's dad's a runner. He's like 60 something, just did the LA marathon and had to quit running because of his inflammation. Oh Ali goodness. convinced him to go plant based and he's running again. Yeah. He th Instantly. The, doc the doctors told him he, he needs to stop running. He thought he'd never run again. Within days, he was um, running. Yeah. Again. Rested for a couple months, went plant based, and he's been getting back into running yeah, without pain. No, these uh, guys are delusional. They're ignorant and lazy. And they're on, they're, they're, they're fakers. This is like stolen valor type of shit. Like, th this is stuff that these guys should have gotten through immediately. Into the dialectic, into the polarization, because you have the not... The polarization is there because, be dude, like, this is how you learn things. Um, people confront others with spicy subjects and stuff. And this is how we get better. We, we grow as, as humans. And uh, the fact that you're this offended that a couple people came to your, your podcast, which you should be happy about because you don't have that many viewers. Like the fact that you, you have this kind of response to such a, a decent question is just hilariously telling. And it just shows that you're, you're insecure about what you know in your position. And like I said, I don't even think you're vegetarian. I highly doubt you're principled enough to even be vegetarian if you're, if you're taking this position like that. Like it's polarizing because because it, it, like that's like saying, oh, because everyone doesn't believe in what you guys are saying that I'm just going to side with them. Like, wow, bro. That's like Larkin Rose nonsense. Like just BS appeal to the crowd, appeal to authority, all these things. And, and you call yourself a, a spirituality teacher and you think you're like based like, holy crap, dude. Dope. But for the vegans, you The vegans? Are, you're generalizing now. ...are playing into the... Uh, the death cult that you're in? We're playing into yeah, the death cult? Vegan. Is that what you're going to say? He's polarizing by using... The dialectic that choice language. Language. Exactly. And he's polarizing by choosing the side of the wrong and doubling down <laughs> on it on his show when he's supposed to be teaching people the right way. This is shocking to the polarization. No wonder Mark's fucking furious. Sorry, babe. I'm always He's next in man. Or, you have not realized. What's that? Or he's his right hand man as far as, you know, like helping him out with this tech situation and everything. And he doesn't understand like anything that he's any of these points that he's been making for all these years. Like, I wonder how I seriously. Long no. And it's like, dude, will pe people need to tell these guys to rewatch the natural law seminar. Mark Passio's natural law, yeah. like straight up, just back to basics. Maybe like start again. Like, as you said, start again from episode one, Like at least, you know, you yeah, can't like just watch that once and understand it you got to watch it six you know, times i'm sure they've watched it a couple times to give them the benefit of the doubt but yeah like we can go through it again sorry with an open mind yeah not like having to defend your carnist position no, these are carnists up here 
Dunning Kruger effect. And Dunning then the, Kruger effect. Peak, peak of Mount Stupid, and Mount then there's Stupid. the valley, These and then guys. they begin to go, they're they're on. You know, it, it feels like it seems like to me that they see themselves as on this peak, but it's this false peak of being so confident in what you know that you are no longer open for learning. And you lost your original education. Or not applying it. Not applying it. Or never integrating did. Integrating and applying yeah. it and doing the shadow work. Again, boom, shadow work. This is. And these guys I are focusing go. on government. Oh, we need to focus on government. Yeah. Doesn't Mark Point, talk about. Yeah. Outward instead keep pointing of outward this. instead of inward. Same shit. Like this is, these are the basics. This is what That's getting in line, life government. in line with natural law is about. This is the balance. You know, the balance isn't just eat a little bit of meat or a little bit of dairy. Like, that's not a balance. That's you cutting. That's you, like, stopping right at the finish line, bro. Like, come on. Do you know how much respect you'd get? It's a cul-de-sac before the gold mine. You're on the way. You're on the path to the gold mine. But you get caught in this little offshoot, and it just keeps you there. And you just get too comfortable. Ignorance. And thinking that you know everything. And thinking that you need to do a podcast and and uh, teach everyone this, you know, plagiarized Mark Passio over again, you know, like like all these other guys that, that aren't creative enough to take the education they get and actually apply it into some way that works in the real world. They just want to do the same thing over again and try and get as famous as Tim. And it's this chasing this, like, it's just all this ego stuff. Like, I'm not seeing people I want to watch anything from up here, even if I wasn't vegan. Like, it's a little, little weird. But for the vegans, you are playing into the uh, into the dialectic, into the polarization, because you have not realized the cause. It has to go in the mind, and it's focused on human to human. We need to clean up, clean up our own shit before we. Again, we can't. Yeah. So while we're being activists and and exposing the government, when you take your lunch break. Eat something vegan. Yeah, it's yeah. not that hard. Holy so, crap. Like what are you talking about doing? We all have to eat. Everyone eats usually three times a day. And when you're doing that, choose something that doesn't have a sentient being in it. You fool. So, you so you guys. Fucking slob. Really what? not that hard. Ignorant <laughs> turd. You know, you, you know uh, how when a certain number of people like think a certain way, like that thought pattern will catch on. Like group thing. why would we be trying to talk people out of like figuring out the right shit? What is it is where it's like a tipping point, like the monkey thing, you know, the monkey thing where a certain percentage of monkeys knew how to do this. I think it was washing fruit. Well, it's a communal intelligence. They've proven it exists, you know. And the more of like, us like that different have continents, this, like this, this, monkeys what? all know how to do the same thing. Or when a monkey on one continent learns something, it like gets translated over to different countries. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, Probably that's not. exactly what I'm talking okay, about. Is, What's the word right. for that yeah. now? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so why why would he be arguing against people being more intelligent and learning new things? What a moron. Yeah, this is some of the like weakest it's, responses I've ever seen. Yeah, it's super disappointing because again, you know, we're gonna try and push these important teachings and then just Fall short. encourage people to just go along with the status quo or not not fight against it in every way possible and try and sp spread truth just because it's not fashionable, like, and, or because it's icky and you don't like vegans, like. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really disappointing. It's, it's, and it's, it's disappointing and evil, really. You're, you're, te yeah. you're, you're teaching someone to poison themselves. Like, that's not in line with natural law, bro. Like, I, I can't even believe this dude talking like this right now. Yeah, because it'd be one thing if you're just like, okay, I don't really, it's not some a, a subject I talk about, but yeah, you know, like, it, it, whatever. Oh, no, I'm, Veganism I'm is just, some, but yeah, to come out explicitly saying, oh, the problem with you vegans is that you are the, the problem, essentially, is what yeah, he yeah. said. And you know, you're talking to Mark, too, right? You're, you're the guy you supposedly respect and looked up towards, like, he's a vegan also, so you're generalizing him, too. 
is he being polarizing? You know, like you're, you're gen generalizing is when you say everyone acts a certain way. Maybe you don't know what it means, but you're saying, you're saying vegans all do this. And that is a fallacy because most vegans are libs and they aren't thinking about anything like yeah. this okay. for one. And you should definitely, you know, not be discouraging, you know, people on our side from being vegan. I guess he's right in that aspect where, yeah, okay, if you're talking about most vegans out in the world, most, uh, like you said, live vegans, yeah, yeah they are push pushing the divide and the polarization, um, but, but he knows he's not talking to He's those. talking about us. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like... Because we're the ones in his chat calling him out, asking him questions he doesn't want to answer, that he refuses to answer. I don't think he even, well, he, I doubt he'll even answer this. Well, especially in being in, in well, this circle circles it's all a tough love right we all follow mark passio like we should be able to handle and not be so sensitive and you little know criticism like, respond without being so emotionally triggered and actually have a little conversation um yeah you know <laughs> yeah like what do you think braxton is he still here yeah he's there he's rolling oh not like that i was gonna say i think I'm trying to think of like the the motive or like what it is that's holding him back from making that leap because I'm thinking he either he wants to project himself as being some sort of like a hero because he's standing up against government saying he's like brave and all these kinds of things. But I just don't feel like he's uh, what is what am I going with this? I feel like he's just completely lacking the awareness of like how hypocritical it is that he'd say, go after this tyranny, stop this tyranny. But like the tyranny that I have against, or, you know, that's directed towards animals. Well, that's just kind of uh, not, not pay so much attention to that. Like, yeah, well, I don't know. If it's a, seems, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I don't know if it's like a convenience thing for him or if it's like he like worries about his popularity or, you know, people turning to right. him if he doesn't do it, right? Yeah. Right. That's what I'm sensing. It, it's Jeffrey just yelled from the bathroom. He has 900 subscribers. But I think I to me, it comes off as a like you said, a popularity issue. He knows most people, especially most people in the movement, especially most people in this movement right now are not into veganism that's not the hot thing that's ever you know people are still kind of preaching the you know animal product thing so i, don't know. I think it's a popularity thing, which is unfortunate and i think maybe he i hope you know i think he needs to hear that these people need to hear that and look inside themselves and examine themselves and do that shadow work because again that's you know not saying these people may be conscious of what they're doing, but it's evident about what's going on, you know? Most of our movement's a fucking joke. This guy's proof of it. You know, people that identify as being part of our movement. This guy's a fucking beta, beta male that is literally breastfeeding yet. And he brags about it like it's a fucking flex. I'm a vegetarian. I still suck on the nipple. Like, what a beta fuck. I'm sorry. I'm over it. I'll quit. <laughs> okay, we forgive you. But, yeah, it's just, it's disappointing. Yeah, very Please. disappointing. Uh, even the Most like the, joke. the fact that he's an activist is kind of frustrating too because if people hear that he's a vegetarian they're probably not going to have that like whatever nuance he's trying to put into it and say that he's doing it consciously and he has all these you know there's all these ethical ways of doing all these things it's like yeah like i was okay other people are going to be doing the conventional route and it's they're going to think that it's perfectly fine because this vegetarian guy on here does it all the time yeah no they hear that and oh fuck vegans <laughs> you know like uh, essentially yeah because we're too pushy and we're like, we're trying too hard and like making issues that don't actually exist when it's people who uh what is it went halfway up the hill and pitched a tent whatever that that thing that uh that mark talked about mm -hmm. halfway up mount stupid yeah yeah on the way up mount stupid definitely <laughs> Um, oh, here, hold on. Technical difficulties. There we go. 
you. There you go. I'm trying to remember how much. Uh, more, yeah. How much but there's more because he talked. He didn't bring us. He didn't bring us up yet. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's quite. <laughs> we a haven't bit more. actually got to the VGT in the wild. Yeah, yet. and we just we haven't we haven't fully watched this either. Any kind of change in the ad, which I would love to see. I would love to see that, but that's that's not going to happen until we we get rid of the governmental institutions and the control systems that regulate all of that stuff basically we have to let the state control what we eat as we're destroying the state that's literally what he's saying like the subs the government subsidizes the, the meat and dairy industry like you if you get rid of the government guess what you won't have your meat anymore and now you, you'll be out of excuses yeah, we have to be complete. So I, I see in slavery. The, the mass killing of animals as an effect from a cause. So is, is there a spiritual way to kill an animal? I, no. Thank Not you. That I know of. the Native Americans thought so. And I actually, and I agree. My, my, my ancestors did it. It's okay for me to. I have to do it because my ancestors did it. Wow. Appeal but to tradition, man, appeal to history, <laughs> appeal to the crowd. Like just logical fallacy after logical fallacy, not in line Shut with natural law, completely in line with ignorance. And guess what? The less, the more immoral you are, the less freedom you have. So what's the point of doing all this? Why are we here talking about this stuff? I don't get it. Like, what's the point? If everything's sentient, therefore kill everything. If I'm getting that correctly, like that's some nihilistic sounding Justin Padini bullshit. And uh, <laughs> you know, definitely not someone who, who's gotten this stuff figured out and is, is should be teaching anyone, especially like, holy crap. We need to teach people that the government's bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Give me a break, bro. How old are you? You, do you put well, gray in your beard so you look more wise? Like, how old are you? This sounds like a fucking 14 year old. Well, I agree. The Native American. I, I agree. We got it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree. We got to teach people the government's bad. But I mean, what kind of fucking idiot? It claims that the government's bad and then supports the government subsidized industries designed to dumb us down and weaken the men. Yeah. These you guys are supposed I mean? to be teaching us about slavery. Yeah, no, and what kind of idiot makes those two things mutually exclusive? Why why is it either one or the other? How and like I said before, like how see the pattern? Maybe he's dumb and he can't chew eat and chew eat <laughs> eat gum and chew at the same time you know because that's the only this this argument is like really not a good argument oh yeah, we need to focus on government right now like didn't we just hear mark say that people who focus on government are are fucking pussy retards or something like that Focusing on external, externally pointing instead of internally pointing all day long. Like, what did you, did you learn anything, bro? Did you just watch the videos and it was in one ear, out the other? Like Justin Bedini, another guy on your network who shouldn't be up there. You know, like. Oh. Speaking of fucking Bedini, earlier somebody had mentioned that, that he did another pissed off vegan hate video. <laughs> and I wanted to say, if you got him to do that, that's awesome. Every month or two, yeah. one of us will piss him off, piss him off bad enough that it he'll be like, piss off, Justin. Yeah. But I've I've been able to do it a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got him to do it three or four. He never names the specific vegan. He just says you vegans. <laughs> It's so mad. You no, know, I told him the other day that I've been in Mark's chat telling him to, to kick him out of the One Great Work Network. <laughs> hey, you know something that I just noticed that's kind of funny about that situation with Justin? Huh. So he uh he always chalks it up to our group, like the those of us who are like in the you know, we're in the show, we're in this sort of like small like niche community, I guess. But he always like lumps us all together 
when if you notice he's had interactions with other people who are also vegans who were like a different era of beeping, I guess. Of course. No, he looks for anything possible. Um, you know, the, what happened the other day was I finally I finally made him understand that the plant sentience argument doesn't help him out. I was basically had to like hold his hand and wipe his butt and explain to him that if plants were sentient, then then his karmic inventory is far more than a vegan's because he, um, you know, just belligerently gluttonously eats both of them. And that's definitely like not I think he finally like kind of got it and he he just started like like making jokes and then he got really mad and has been posting like every day an anti-vegan and it's just like okay but you're still using these 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 arguments from like the 90s that you got from lark and rose that have been debunked a thousand times and you just got embarrassed because you finally realized that oh that argument doesn't make sense for me and actually helps out the vegan argument whole crop desk thing it's like no sorry your cows eat just as more plants than humans do and just as many the, 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 this idea that one cow is one death and a cow existing is only one killing one cow is just killing one being when really you know they eat just as many plants as anyone so all the crop death stuff is responsibility on their plate also this if these guys care about karma inventory or anything like this like they are claiming they are uh, attaching themselves to 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 a mom and talking about natural law then it's it's you know like i, I want to hear the arguments but i'm hearing the arguments and they're all garbage like this is all just lazy lazy buffoon talk like holy crap and this guy should know better and that's why we're here is that you should know better you should know way better than to to fall for these stupid excuses just because you don't want to piss off your your uh your your listener base which is tiny already and as you could see here you got more vegans watching the show than anything so you should be happy to do pro vegan content because we're happy your freaking viewers you know like you think there aren't other other vegans on one great work you know like they're embarrassed about being on the network with you guys like it's not cool like all of them are in my chat now like all of them are we have a the vegan group therapy chat Every vegan from One Gate Work is in there. Like you guys are, you guys need to figure your shit out. So here's the thing, though. Even if their arguments were wonderful, not saying they're right, but even if they had good arguments, it's not like we can't fucking look at people like Larkin Rose or Justin Padini and see that they have fucking breasts. Why the fuck would we want to give ourselves gynoclamastia? Well, Larkin's been on TRT for a while. He used to be a fat little turd, but he's been on TRT for a while. Um, so, you know, he obviously doesn't care. What's TRT? Testosterone. Testosterone replacement therapy. So he's turned himself into such a beta that he needs to fucking take like testosterone. He's trying, Joe Rogan. he's trying to be Joe Rogan, libertarian Joe Rogan. What do you think? I think Joe Rogan's Except fucking never overrated. Do it. Fuck. All right. We're back operate. this video because you want to know they operated with reverence, with respect, with a high regard and a relationship with nature. With their relatives, they used every part of the animal. Now, oh, Braxton loves that one. If, if we went back, <laughs> did you hear Go that, Braxton? Braxton? What do you got on it, buddy? They ate the butthole. They ate the brains that usually cause disease when you eat animal brains. Yeah, they ate, the brains. The they ate the brains and ingested prions. Prions. <laughs> yeah, that's that was a really good point. We were talking about that earlier. Like it gives you like. You're putting yourself at risk of these horrible pathogens, bacteria, parasites, all just infesting and destroying your body. Like, not even from just a health perspective. That's got to be not great for your spirit because that's, you know, putting your body into fight or flight mode in certain ways and causing unnecessary inflammation. You're basically making yourself a problem to be around when you go out into society. 
He's cherry picking our ancestors' diets. He has no clue what they ate. And the more studies that come out, it turns out that they were basically plant based. They got meat every once in a while. But I mean, we've been out here, we find Indian mortars in the ground all the time, which is evidence of their mostly plant based diet. Native. So like this cherry picking, just being, and then the, then he's cherry picking from an era when they had to eat meat. I don't even, I don't even think they had to eat meat. It was just far more convenient, death defying, like to cherry pick from an era when that's not the era we're in now is a complete fallacy. So it's just nothing but garbage out of this guy's voice, mouth. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, wow. To that level of consciousness, we would be, we would be fantastic, right? But it's not about going to the past; it's about evolving from there. So, okay, I yes, agree. we totally yes, agree. evolving from <laughs> yeah, having to kill animals unnecessarily to eat. Yes, yeah, evolving from living in survival mode to living in a more spiritual way. Is there a spiritual way to kill an yeah. animal? No, it's a method of survival. Yes, we can survive. It's calories. But is it moral? Is it right? Is it in line with natural law? Uh-uh. Yeah. Not, your eggs, like your eggs, your butter. That's that's death, dude. Those chickens mm -hmm. don't want you to take those eggs. That that cow didn't want to be milked every morning. And again, even if even if someone is living the most moral way, raising chickens that are not mass bred types. They didn't buy chicken, they're wild chickens and they harvest it. That to still demonize vegans is promoting, most people are not gonna be having their own chick, wild chickens and harvesting eggs. You're promoting people then look away from the diet that sends them away from buying those things at the grocery store. They're going to be buying, going to the grocery store and buying them. The majority of people, 99.9% .9 of people so again, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, nuance, it's, it's, this is a crock of shit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Like I was saying earlier, it's, and we got back in, like we kind of looped back to that. Uh, it's a good point. The whole thing of, uh, you know, he's going to be sort of, what do you call it? Uh, uh, he's going to be putting out, he's going to be like explaining what his behavior is. Like he's a vegetarian. Biased. And, yeah, his own bias. To, like and kind of obscure perspective because maybe like 1% of vegetarians are actually that conscious, I would imagine. But like to where it would exactly. almost be yeah. Like, yeah, it's not good to be getting that message out to the masses. Like he's hoping he can be. I'll, uh, I'll end on that note. I'll end on that note. <laughs> yeah, and they're they're giving other carnists and out to continue carnism and still like feel enlightened and all this stuff by being a part of natural law and learning about this stuff. And it's just it's just fakery, more fakery by, you know, clowns in the liberty movement and the freedom movement. Um, these dudes are clowns. I keep ranting on that. I, I can definitely add some to that Hopefully from my own personal I don't perspective. Know about the right. um, I'm not a vegan. I have been vegan before. Um, personally, mostly for Jesus, for health reasons. Slow as I've fuck. never been healthier with the diet that I'm eating now. But to your point, Will. The animistic cultures knew how to live in balance and harmony with nature. They didn't exploit nature. They didn't take more than they needed. They took what... How do you know? So <laughs> How do you know? So and arbitrary. arbitrary. We should know. We're not fucking commies. It's not more than they needed. That's such an arbitrary term. How much exactly? How much did they need? You know, like... And, and going back, he just what he just said. Oh, I used to be vegan, and I've never been in better health eating what I am now. So he's yeah. not, not vegan now. So that was just a soft way of being like, oh, okay. The he's poo pooing veganism, veganism yeah. again. And, and I wish you would go into that. I wish you would talk about it. I wish you would, you know, be yeah. open about what he was eating when he was vegan, so we Give can open reasons. up this discourse and conversation. Yeah. 
you can hear some other opinions from some other vegans who are into natural law and have found really great health success from doing this. Again, you know, I don't know what he did, so I can only, you know, dare I say, he is he just meat drinking? And he got pecs was... from doing a bunch of uh, push-ups, so he knows he's more healthy now. Oh, because health is is how much muscles you have, right? Give me a break. They needed to survive, and they were grateful for it. And that is where I would like to get to. Instead of, um, you know, yes, I, I consume animal products made from factory farming, and that is very not ideal for me. That it's where I'm at as a part of the process. But what I what's what the process? Yeah, despite are you processing? Is your process going towards veganism? Because you should, you know, let's talk about it's it. your journey. All these guys <laughs> love talking about the journey they're on, you and know? it's always yeah. when they're justifying something that's bad behavior. Yeah. Well, it's because he's such a busy guy, being an influencer, you know, talking about natural law all the time that he's he's got this massive following. Yes, to like he's. He doesn't have time to get caught up in the details of doing a vegan diet properly. Like, that's always the excuse. Well, and again, that goes back to Mark saying that to properly do it, you have to, it's a lot of work, which it absolutely isn't. Um, there is no big transition. And that's what all these, that's why these dudes aren't vegan right now, probably. They're just, they took it as an out. Oh, Mark took 12 years. That means I don't have to take it serious. And I could just continue this spiritual path while, while uh, you know, taking advantage of other uh, sentient beings and 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 incurring a body count. Like you, you think just because you eat dairy that that animals don't die over that dairy? Like you're, you're, you're perpetuating the slavery of another being, which is we're supposed to be unslaving. How is that going to produce better conditions for humans and being enslaved by government and their controllers? It's all connected, right? So, so dude here, whatever his freaking name is. Uh, so he knows factory farming is bad, but he's going to continue in it in hopes of someday no, like, being able to buy from Amish people or something. Like, it's just, it's like, it's the most, it's, it's a not like he shouldn't even have opened up his mouth. Like it's that retarded of a thing to say. And like anyone with like self awareness would probably not even say something like that. No, I'm glad he did. I'm glad they're, you know, they're, uh, I wouldn't say I'm glad they're being honest. honest Cause I don't think they're being honest with themselves, but uh, I guess I'm glad they're letting their emotions show. Cause it's very, educational and i hope they continue on their process and their journey and uh listen and yeah self-reflect jesus christ intend to do is own land and live off that land whether it be crops that i grow myself oh my oh my god i'm going to make paradise on my land that no one else can be a part of have you paid attention to anything this whole time in the whole one great work? Like, did you pay attention to anything Mark talked about in the least bit? Like, are you joking me right now? When the conditions are Selfish, perfect, okay. ignorant, okay. nonsense. Huh? I said when his uh, when his current conditions improve, he'll consider the moral stance. Yeah. Yeah, basically, when you his can, own personal conditions improve, then yeah, he will improve. Yeah, his more. Yeah, I, I guess that's what that means, right? Going to the store right now and and not buying meat and dairy is so hard to do. It's such a gnarly, in, intense, hard thing to do. Like, holy crap! These no wonder Mark so, no wonder Mark quit the show. Imagine these it's being like the best guys. I mean, I, I doubt these are the best guys, but like. Right hand oh, men. Holy I mean, crap. Yeah. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Or yeah, animals there was like that, that I had to like, and like, kill and clean myself, myself and not need to rely on. Oh, since you clean it yourself, it's okay. 
that's where he wants to get. Yeah, it's completely a natural. It's completely in law of natural law to take a firearm into the desert, into the forest, and kill something from it, kill something with it. And if you clean it yourself, it's okay. You know, then then like, you know, nature is like, oh, pats you on the back. Like, are you like utterly like, are you out of your mind, dude? Look how many tools like, this is, it this, takes. This is, this is that, that, the thing where you get like chicks that are all like super trad and like, you know, they don't believe anything they're saying, but they're just saying it to get followers, you know? Like, what's her freaking anarchist model chick? Like, any of these, like, they, they just say these things and they post about these things because they think they're going to get a following. These guys want a following. Oh, like the trad biggest following. Yeah, wife. yeah. Trad farmer's wife. Yeah. yeah. So these guys want the following. The biggest group of men in the United States that are open to this kind of stuff are like Republicans yeah, and so conservatives. conservatives and so you got to throw in your, your bullshit fucking satanic conservative nonsense to try and gain the like oh this guy's cool he talks shit about trans people and you know yeah, like trans, trans in the schools yeah, and the vegans cool. like wow dude like holy crap just being played being played by the powers that be and then and these clowns are up here claiming that they're so aware of what's going on holy shit from farming anymore so I can 100% agree factory farming is abhorrent. It, it should be done away with. And if you want to consume animal products, ideally you should be the one doing the dirty work. You know what I'm saying? And having that spiritual connection to nature and the animal that you're consuming and all that. I take the kind of more pagan perspective on that. So I admit that I'm not where I want to be. New age bullshit. New and I'm telling age you bullshit. where sorry I'm Logan like, new age bullshit clown oh, I, can't. <laughs> I can't clown yikes yeah we need the cloud we need the clown hard yeah I don't, I don't, don't care about new anybody age, else guys. yeah it is no. is that new age yeah, I thought that was like throwback like, from the boomers boomers that's what we're talking about New well, age is subjective. not. Well, subjective. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you Connecting call that? What uh, the natives did. Everything uh, the natives did was good, and therefore that's going to be our moral basis for how we, run, you know, how yeah. we do things. Like cavemen dictate my morality. Having John Bob, haven't you seen these new <laughs> wave of so all of the uh, all of like the new age hippies used to be raw vegan, so now they're all like raw carnivore people who like co-opted yeah there's like it's a whole i was just i got into a, a whole rabbit hole on youtube shorts but yeah it's all these like overly tanned like everyone on steroids but like new age hippie but yeah no they're all they're all carnivore now and can oh and yeah uh we're appreciating the animal eating head tail etc etc that is eating the super butthole. popular in the new age the right butthole. now the, the, <laughs> the butthole the butthole the butthole Tail the snout in that process. I well said, man. Well said. Oh boy. Look at these clown brothers in fucking chasing clout, trying to support each other and fucking help each other cope when they're presented with clearly like superior. Like, uh, just, just open your mind, you guys. Just quit. Enough with the cope. Yeah, Let's serious. Keep COVID. evolving. Part of the process is getting over this shit. Sorry. It's like they're not using you their where brains I would at like all. to be in that process. No, they I just have to. They, they aren't willing to do the work, and they're lazy, and they have to defend their position. That's simply it. Like everyone's got to defend this position. That's why my Facebook is so crazy because everyone is a carnist basically these days you know like these guys are no uh, another thing i thought of another another way this is like new age bullshit oh shit wait did i just lose my point damn it ah i just lost some people <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> gone sorry john bob <laughs> Well said, man. And I and, and I agree with, with much of you said. And hyperlink, yeah, I wasn't trying to like direct my, my rant directly at you. Um yes, you I, were. it was more about just th that topic. Yes, you were. Yeah, because I, Logan, What's I do that agree brown with you shit on that it there are nose? certain 
Uh, who knows? <laughs> Sorry. Steps. Who knows? I rhyme. Cholesterol. Yeah. 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 Cancer. The collective of humanity that we need to go through before we can we, we can have a certain level. So that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This is bullshit excuses. No, okay. I Absolute remember, yeah. bullshit excuses. Absolutely, okay. it's bullshit excuses, excuses, and it's new age bullshit. Because again, spirituality, we talk about oh, giving thanks to the animal and all this stuff. What matters most is the material world still this plane of existence, pain and suffering felt by beings here is more important than, you know, thanking the, your pagan gods on some other spiritual plane and, you know, thanking them for providing this animal. That's, that's all, you know, great if that's what you have to do for survival. But I mean, again, they need to go back. I mean, maybe they're just, you know what? They need to listen to more new hmm. Mark then. You are so hot. <laughs> oh, thanks, babe. But yeah, it's just, new age bullshit what happens here matters most it's really important to learn about these things spirituality and these immaterial things but the material shit matters and that's what's going to make a change like we our, our actions here so yeah i can't i can't with that bullshit sorry i just remember it bullshit nothing but bullshit sorry. out of these two holy it crap is. Like neither of them had anything interesting or or new, new. or insightful i'm i'm begging <laughs> Carnis to come up to me and say something I haven't heard before. So I actually have to like think like this stuff is just no, unbelievable. And, and part of the reason why we're deciding to talk about these individuals is that they are on the path, right? There, there's hope for them. I, I hope, but we see potential for these people. They just need to go all the way, drink deep or don't freaking drink at all. Like you can't, you have to keep going. And so that's why we're pushing these people we're holding others, especially in the movement, accountable who should be way better than this. And, you know, you can talk with all we want about the little amount of subscribers they have and viewers still like you can't be muddying the movement with just to be popular and, you know, appease an audience and not scare people away from using, you know, the V word. Like it's just it's morally and principally like inconsistent and they can do better. And I hope they do. You know, like <laughs> these, these guys, like, these bros are dealing with keto um, crotch and shit like <sighs> hippie keto crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. The stinky girls, man. Um, and understanding that, you know, the the main principle of nature is symbiosis is balance. And natural law always is trying to reach uh homeostasis even though the consequences could be negative that's why the to universe the point is where we're extinct who aren't learning the, less. the planet less. would thrive from that but that's not our purpose that's not backs. why we are i said that's why the that universe is so that's why the universe is trying to kill people who aren't learning the lessons with natural or you know sort of natural but diseases different conditions that like are supposed to make people feel some sort of fear to change like that you're doing something wrong karmically to the animals but also to yourself as above so below sort of deal yeah <laughs> god damn it yeah, I, I was. was just, Justin, Justin didn't know. Justin thought he gotcha at us last week by by saying that breast milk wasn't vegan, and that we are all hypocrites. It was just like, oh my god, dude! Like, no coercion, dipshit. You don't know. You don't know that this is about coercion it's yet. A joke, man, what do you mean? It's just a joke. Come on, everything's a joke, right? Everything's like, a joke. You don't take anything serious. serious. You get put on the one great work network and you just make a joke of and a fool of yourself by not actually paying attention to anything. This fucking clown show right here. You can clown right here. What up? Nice to see you. How's that? How is that? Ah, he's here. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. King of the clown. That's right. Bo's Bo's on himself. How you doing? Nice to see you. You got your breasts Look at hanging out. How giant out again. this guy is. <laughs> What's, that? What's that? You got your breasts hanging out again? Yeah, I'm completely. Why is yeah, it every time we go shit. live, you talk to myself in the AC, you know? Woo! How you guys Justin, doing? Are you copying Burt Kreischer? Do you know who Burt Kreischer is, Justin? Are you copying him? 
the machine. I, I don't believe so. I'm sorry, who? Bert who? Bert Kreischer, Bert are you stealing knows. another comedian's bit? You're stealing another comedian's bit. I don't actually watch any comedy, to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm better than all those guys. Anyway. Was that? No, oh, I really don't. Oh. No, no, I'll tell you. The, the way I got into it. Come on, broke, Andrew Dice. Yeah, I know him. I, I don't watch him, though. Uh, the, the way I got into comedy, because I don't actually watch comedians, which is why I'm so unique. What the fuck is that? What do you want to reward for? <laughs> you are a unique turd, Justin. I need what? <laughs> I need what? I didn't hear you. All right, so so I don't actually watch comedy to tell you the truth. I never really did. I just I got into conspiracy theories, and a lot of the videos had George Carlin and Bill Hicks, and I was like, oh shit, I remember this guy from when I was a kid, and I was like, I can do that, and I started writing jokes. So I got some new arguments for you tonight if you guys want. Would you like wow. some? Sure, Justin. <laughs> Here we go. Breastfeeding's well, uh, not vegan, right? What's that? What's that? Did you figure out the whole breastfeeding thing? What breastfeeding thing? What breastfeeding? You were saying breastfeeding wasn't vegan and that vegans were hypocrites because breastfeeding isn't vegan. You didn't oh, know no, you don't I understand just, this is about shit. coercion. I just talk shit, man. Just I was Facebook and thought you had got at us. Huh? huh? What's that? I didn't hear you. What's that? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I hear you. Yeah, the last part. I hear you, I mean. I was understanding. I hear so, so anyway, yo, so, so well, for all my vegans that are on here, I got a question for you guys. You know, being things are getting really... Vegan. I was for a time. I, I'm we're, no we were never vegan, dude. Everybody never, says yeah, you would never yeah, vegan. Yeah, no, we know, vegan is a, yeah, is a know, lifelong know, commitment to animals, Justin. What's that? Veganism is a lifelong commitment to animals. You were never vegan. You tried plant-based. I was, was part-time vegan. I'll, I'll do that one. I'll say that. No, no I, three years I ago, I corrected Dustin on this, and he forgot and went back to saying it the wrong way. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I was, you know, I like, what can I say? I was busy. But anyway, why don't you ask Allie why she blocked you? I did. She never asked Allie, why did you block me, Allie? No, I what? don't. You make, me, you make me crazy by how many times I have to repeat myself. So, no, I, I, I'm not going to repeat myself. Well, I just make better points than you do. That's kind of the problem. What? You know? Like, I, that's I blocked you because you make better was... points than I do? Yeah, definitely. Right. Well, all of you guys combined. Are you kidding? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So, so anyway, yeah, that was the funniest so, joke you've ever told. Please. Justin, look, someone's using Mob Deep lyrics against you in the, oh, in the I like, chat. I like Mob Deep actually. Uh, yeah, and it's being used against you pretty, no, pretty well. Halfway uh, by race lever. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, I'm surprised you actually know Mob Deep. I'll give you props for that though, Cali boy. Um, Anyway, so so with with the the constant you know inflation prices everything going up, I was curious to know how you vegans were gonna make ends wheat. Ah. Yeah, that wasn't my argument. That was just a joke. But anyway, um, so so one of my problems, like you, you guys stole that joke. What's that? You stole that joke. Why oh, did you sound feminine when you laughed that time, Justin? Is it all the dairy butt? Is what? Oh, boy. You laugh. Right, what's the so thing, really abnormally high pitch. It was a fake lift. I fake lift, admittedly. Um, so anyway, I'm back, I'm back in the gym, really though. You'll, you'll start to see me puff back out real soon. You like no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's okay. It's okay. Don't do that. No? Okay. Well, yeah. So anyway, so one of my arguments that I wanted to ask you guys about, uh, you know, I already ran this by a few people. They thought it was a really good question. Is, uh, you know, you vegans are always talking about consciousness and spirituality. And uh, in other words, you're doing this for your soul, right? That's, that's it, when it boils down, that's why you're doing it, right? I don't care about my soul. No. I just want to do the right no. thing. I don't want to be a violent prick. What's it about? I'm going to be in line with natural law, bro. Well, whose version of my soul? Manly Halls or Marcasios or many of the people who've taught it over the years, you know? Dude, check it out. Even if our soul ceases to exist when we die, I right. still want to be a decent person in life. You don't see me going around hurting kids. You ain't going to see me going around hurting animals. I mean, fuck that, dude. But what, you hurting plants, plants, you need to take one more step and then you can see their pain. So that you're just too lazy to take that one more step, really? And you're going to call yourself moral? 
Dude, I ain't hurt nothing by eating a fucking apple. That tree gave me. I never hurt tree. anything by eating a hamburger either because I didn't. Oh, take okay, the so your, your point myself, was it comes back but to you plants. Didn't take step to use the tool to hear the scream from the plant. So please, like again, I'm not the guy to debate. Okay, like I'll bulldoze. Oh, you mean um, because everything in nature makes noise, and since it makes noise, you're claiming it's screaming. Okay, Justin. Well, it actually, they specifically <laughs> let off a specific thing. Justin. No Justin. 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 Justin, yes. Justin, yes. <laughs> how yes. do you think you're in the more moral position when you have a higher moral uh, uh, karmic inventory from eating plants and animals and animals that <laughs> eat plants? Think, what makes you even think it works that way? Who's to say that morality? Even because you talk about it as if it does all the time. It's your only argument. It's not thinking it works that way. It's looking at the numbers. The, the numbers, what numbers? Are more plants are killed when you are consuming the animals. That's not, that that doesn't even make any sense. Plants. That makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> explain. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Justin, grass. explain how it makes no sense. Go. What? what? Explain how that makes no sense. Go. Okay. So you're telling me, right, if a cow eats grass, and you're claiming that I'm, I'm like, again, I don't really care about whatever, but the plants, like, so we're saying, okay, so the cow eats plants. And if I eat the cow, less plants get eaten. What are you talking? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. More pounds. plants get, it's the opposite. Down, it's the opposite. More oh. plants get eaten by eating the cow because in order to feed that cow, there's the caloric loss. That it has to eat more plants than if you were just to feed the plants directly to humans. Right? Do, do, but yeah, but how many do you think every time somebody wants a burger, a cow dies? Because one cow will feed, feed like thousands of people. They take that into account. Justin, listen, they take that into account. So I'm just saying they've run the numbers. Like there's been studies who, who, about this. They, they, More plants, multiple sources. So this is, I'm sure Jeffrey's provided you with the references or whatever. If you genuinely want to know, I can provide them to you. We've done right, debates I, about I, this. So we've I, both I, done a lot of research in the topic. Debate. That. John Bob sends me links all the time, and then he hosts it. Yeah, that's what I mean. See, he's just gonna mute me. Can I talk? You're not muted. Are we, are we playing games? You're not muted. You Go ahead. You are you, I'll bring your Why don't you let her finish what she to say, yeah, Justin. Let him, let him go ahead. Let him go. Like, well, I was just pointing out that, like, John Bob regularly. No, don't point out where I can just send him a link. You have time to point everything out. What's that? point anything out until the person is done talking she's not oh, done talking so time. wait wait okay go ahead okay i'll just repeat what i said before so how i, I you were talking about links that john bob has sent you i don't know how that's relevant again i can send you links if you really want to know but i'm telling you jeffrey and i have done the research the information is out there. Mm -hmm. More plants are consumed if you eat the cow. And they've okay. done the, even though, uh, yes, okay. one burger is doesn't take, there's multiple burgers that come out of a cow. That is factored that was, into the info, I promise. That was, you, you can promise me that. Okay. okay. Can you, Wait, so Justin, do you know what a caloric deficit is? Specifically. Justin, do you know what a caloric yeah, deficit? Yeah. Send you the link then, if you. Uh, okay. I will. I, I know. Do you know what a caloric? Calories. When she said caloric deficit, did you know what that meant? I, I no, not specifically, but I can guess. Okay, I so hold on. So hold on. To produce a cow that that is, let's say, ten thousand calories. This is going to be completely wrong, right? Just, just let's to say to, to to make a cow that's ten thousand calories. It takes millions of calories to to build that cow that's only 10,000 calories. So there's literally an insane amount of plants that go into cows to make a cow. And we're losing massive amount of calories to these cows' secretions and shit yeah. converting that plant, isn't going to humans. Yeah. Converting the plant calories into meat calories and animal product calories there is a loss of calories. So that's speaking to your plant sensitive. So to be argument. clear, I, I yes, want to be clear. doesn't matter. Okay, I just want to be what? clear though. What you're saying to me is that if I eat something that eats something else, that more of what the other thing eats is going to be eaten because I killed it? I don't, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. 
just so like you're I think saying. so you're, you're you're missing like it's a very core misunderstanding. so like if you maybe like google like calor caloric deficit loss in cattle something like that maybe someone's made a better video to explain it i'm not expecting you to to understand it and this isn't like a <laughs> vegan thing I, I or like an abstract thing this is like a, a mechanism so like i'm trying to think of like um like a metaphor right to like make it so you like uh yeah. you can like understand okay, so <laughs> like, clear. hold on hold on ready i just want to be clear so yeah. what you're telling me is if i'm i'm not a rapist but let's say i go kill somebody that's going around raping people that more people will be raped so that's what you're saying right no, no, I mean, not at all. Completely not even trying to understand what we're telling you. But, uh, no, but I mean, I'm glad you asked the question. Like, so, Justin, yeah. Justin, yeah. yeah, Justin, when a cow is at a concentration camp at one of these freaking factory farms, right? They're feeding them corn and soy, and those corns and soys had to be grown in a in a crop which killed yeah. animals. So just like that, you say, uh, oh, vegans so aren't vegan. Like shut up, shut up, shut up. Vegans aren't vegan because crop deaths, the, the yeah. crop deaths happen for your cows to be filled up with these calories that we lose. Oh. So, oh, so, it's of the so like we could totally thing. feed everyone in the world, and but we can't because we have to feed all these cows. And so people it's are starving. The, government, though, the way that everything's set because up, of not this the caloric deficit. There's other reasons for it but just saying like just in number like calorie wise right. but, but there's it's because enough of calorie the produced to hypothetically that, feed everybody right okay so anyway can i get to my point because i have a good one for you guys and it's going to raise the, the vibration of the vegans to the next level because it's a really good question and i know you guys love me for this so anyway uh ready <laughs> You're Jesus fucking Christ. evil, but that was awesome. Like a cop. <laughs> I'm well, just like a cop. Yeah, you want you're the one who thinks oh, I'll slave just animals. Talk about whatever I want. All right, you ready? I got a question. <laughs> I got a going for you. Ready? So anyway, my question is basically like, okay, so in other words, like a vegans, they always tell me that they're doing this for like consciousness and you know spiritual reasons and this, this, and that. And I get that, you know. But my, so you guys believe we have a soul or whatever, right? I, I do. Right? right, guys. Right. Sure. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Right. Sure. Yeah, okay. if... Would agree that we all have a soul. Or there's more. There's more to things than physical matter, right? So my question is, if our soul inhabits vessels and stuff like that, right? Don't we then owe it to the actual animal or being that we actually inhabit to give them the best possible life and continue with that species? Because humanity seems like it's going to think. No. And obviously, again, no offense, but you guys don't look nearly as healthy as the people that eat meat. So based off that alone, like, don't you kind of owe it to the, the human animal to be as healthy as possible? Because what well, I agree with Logan, I think he looks better, he looks healthier and stuff. And that's a really good point, man. Like, you can't just like- Yeah, because he's on testosterone out. now. What's that? Because he's on testosterone now, but sorry, go ahead. I don't, is he on, is he on? I have no idea why well, he takes juice. I have no idea. I've never taken, not only any steroids, but any actual gene. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We weren't talking about you. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so Justin, can I respond to your first point then? You just threw out two points. Come on, girl. You know? I gotta stroke my own ego. You just threw out two. What's that? So you just threw out two points. Can I respond to your first point? Of course. Of course. About the souls and how killing animals uh, frees them, their, their souls to inhabit another say, shell. I did not say that. Um, I I, that. Okay, maybe you should explain then again, because that's what I heard. Wait, can I say something real quick, guys? Justin just said us vegans look unhealthy. I'd like to point out the fact that he's overweight and has grown breasts. I would consider that. Hey, John Bob. We're in the middle of something, John Bob. We all know this. We've made fun of him plenty of times about that. We're trying to have a debate here. We don't always... You know, well, no, like, the, the, leave it for Facebook. no, no, no. The, the, his second point was the health aspect, and I wanted to get to that, but I was just addressing the first thing. Oh, okay. I wanted him to clarify oh, okay. Okay. because okay. it implied that the immaterial world is more important than, than the material world. And I would suggest you revisit Mark's natural law lecture because, but go ahead, maybe I understood it wrong. Yeah, well, again, Mark's not right about everything. You know, you can have him here and debate me too if he wants. Absolutely not. That. What's that? Uh, anyway. The, the point is, is that what, what I'm trying to say, why do you think all that matters is consciousness where we have a physical reality, life forms, 
have it. And I'm sure you guys have seen you guys before talk about you don't want animal life going extinct. So why is it okay for the human animal to go extinct and not be as healthy as possible and fulfill our own potential, like Socrates himself said? You know what I mean? Like, I think it's good It's good to like be as healthy as possible. Like, that's why I made the point about the Renaissance. You don't see any beef. And people were much more intelligent then. So, I mean, what is that? I don't hear anything, any new arguments. It sounds like being back on Facebook. No, no, okay. So, no, I just thought no, it was Because, no, again, if you want to go into a health debate, if you want to go into a health debate and, like, you know, talk about the studies, and I know you want to talk about anecdotes and whatever, but, um, you know, no, I, sure. we, we can dive into that. But I I feel well, like I'm going insane. <laughs> okay, let me let me just be clear of what I'm saying. You definitely didn't understand what I meant. No, we don't need you to be clear. We've heard what you've said for years. You have the same repeated arguments over and over again. You loop. She just said. You loop. So let me explain. So what I'm what I'm the the idea that I'm trying to convey to get you guys to understand is like we're talking about consciousness and spirituality and that. And I'm making the point, well, what about the animal that more stolen habits? Don't we owe something to the actual human animal to keep it going? And that's the point, is like the vegan community, like like I, I point out, Billy Carson for 30 years was the lead vegan. He said it almost killed him. And his wife, he's making videos about it. So the point is, is that like- it's not a lead vegan, because I don't know who he is. And I've been vegan like off and on since the 90s, so. And this is a, so this is I've a health argument. The health well, the point, the point is, he's on steroids too, right, Justin? Your 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 guy you're talking about. He's on steroids, and Larkin Rose is on steroids also. Yeah, I can show you the day it happened, bro. You can see he went from a fat fucking slob who had no confidence to being an overconfident buff douchebag in like a month. Of course he went on steroids. You have no idea what you're talking about. And you're lying about not. never doing steroids. So, I guess you know, not. like I, you're just I, a, a, a fucking like typical meathead bodybuilder that lies about everything. No, I, I, give me a hair sample test. They, they test like <laughs> back. Try to see if I got steroids or anything. Bro, like you'll find everybody weed. Everybody went, when Rogan started talking about being on test, everybody went on it. Everybody who was in their 40s and out of shape. Come on, bro. Like. Not only have I never taken any steroids, I've how do you know nothing about any of your friends, Justin? All these guys you say you're best friends with, you know nothing about them. So, so when did Larkin start taking steroids? I can find the era. I could go look at his videos yeah. and I can show yeah, you. Yeah, make, There's make a, a clear difference. His complete face change. He there. got, he got testosterone it. cheeks. He got testosterone. You look considerably less pain back in the day. day. Make, make a post way about it. He might have even talked about it. Okay. Common knowledge. I, anyway, we got no more time for you, dude. I'll see you later. <laughs> it's funny. You are like, so harsh with him. Him go from like the show to backstage and then just his reaction <laughs> and just seeing the camera swipe down. <laughs> Always look for that. Sorry. Here, we are here to be in balance to facilitate uh symbiosis in balance, nature. which includes immorality. Okay, bro. And um, so, so and, you know, in this current condition, I gotta think be evil. That diet is, enough, is so, a so spiritual, okay. spiritual sacrament. I don't know. What's that? That like old world religious sort of view that like there's there's like this uh, need to have like a certain amount of people in the world, like not not even just like shadow expression or integration, but like actual evil like, sacrifice those kinds of things. It's like an old world mentality that it just it just perpetuates this religious dogmatic blood cult. Yeah, like, that's all it, all it serves to do. All it serves to do, and it all ends up. They worship at the end of the day too, and appeal to tradition. <laughs> yeah, just because they did it in the past, therefore we keep doing it. It's the correct thing to do, mm -hmm. and yeah, nothing but logical fallacies with these guys. These guys are a joke. No wonder he's not getting any views. He doesn't have any followers. Same thing. Anyone in the Liberty movie, they only really have like seven hundred followers. And if you're doing a show, you have nine hundred subscribers. Your show's being showed to nine people. Like, there might be nine people watching that show, max. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But, like, dude, 
the, the message sucks. It's not going to go anywhere. That not everyone not can do that has no foundation or is willing to do or is ready to do. Um, so until we get government and that belief in human authority, we reach that critical stage where the capacity and the potentiality I can't even this is the stupidest argument there's not going to be there's it's we're never going to be there dipshit so so continue point, yeah where enough people know about government being bad then we can talk we about the vegan. animals That's and until then we just continue arbitrary to suffer as like as fuck yeah. arbitrary hey, and we were talking about this recently too, like the whole thing of veganism being the first, like the most, the biggest red pill you could ever receive because it is a conspiracy that everybody is a part of, more or less. And they're like, they're complicit and they're just ignoring the fact that this is going on. Or rather, they don't know, but because they won't look. Yeah. Like, that. That's the most important. Like these people need to understand this stuff if they want to actually be in alignment with natural law, like they're claiming they are. Yeah. Otherwise, we're flipped over. Well, I think I think what these guys are trying to do, they're taking the natural law stuff and making their twist on it that like accommodates their life and them not having to actually sacrifice anything. Like the fact that you would feed your children that garbage. And think you're like in line spiritually, you're not giving them a choice. Like that's like gross. Indoctrination from the of from like the elevation. Cradle. Yeah. My daughter yeah, exactly didn't want to have like. anything to do with eating any animals until she went to public school. And you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna defend that education you got in public school. In yeah. human consciousness can operate. I mean, it's like it, even being a vegetarian. Um, you know, I, I eat egg, bro. Lazy I, ass. I do some butter. Replace the word vegetarian with half ass. I'm half ass. I half ass things. I take things. I take credit for things that I haven't followed through with. If we are here to be, and then I post truth on the wall. Like, how could you project? Like if someone's gonna that's that that truth sign up there, that's like someone walking up to you and being, Oh, trust me, bro. Trust me. Like sketchy projecting like weird stuff. Yeah, but what you're watching is here. a balance of being in harmony with animals. And I've been attacked on many angles. Those aren't your eggs. I have wild chickens. On wild my what are wild chickens? You have you have wild chickens. If you have them, they aren't wild for one. And this I, is just some, yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's talking about the breed of chicken. Like, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know what he's speaking no. about. But from my understanding, wild chickens, they are, their eggs are smaller too. Like the yeah, whole idea, the reason no, why we have factory farm chickens, eggs. they make bigger eggs and stuff and all. But yeah. You're still stealing those eggs from female chickens that don't want their eggs to be stolen like i've had chickens too bro i was a carnist once also bro i had plenty of chickens you try and take their eggs they they attack you and if you take them out of their thing and take their eggs and put them back in there they're pissed for like four hours they'll they'll try and attack you if they see you because they know you took their eggs don't don't talk to me like oh they hand their eggs over to you this is bullshit adding the word wild to chickens like that's a that's double speak bro you're being dishonest you have chickens. You got them. You own them. You probably do. Like I said, you're probably not even vegetarian. You know the truth. I, I think I know the truth, but you know the truth. Fucking it's BS. Like you're, you're just saying that because you want to at least be part of the way. But I doubt you're even vegetarian. Why would you argue this if you were vegetarian and understood that, you know, you're just it's like even what's his name? John Church, whatever. Bob Church. He at least knows it's wrong and just struggles with it and just admits he's a weak person, you know? Like, he's like, this thing I deal with trying to kick meat and dairy. Like, at least he's being honest, not like these clowns that just change change whatever a, a information they're putting up to fit their agenda. Like, completely add these things in so they could continue being a carnist piece of shit. 
It's fucking pathetic. Have to go outside. They leave 20, 30 eggs around on the property, and then the cats leave! come over and eat them. There is a process. Your cats eat them? This is why you have to. Oh, wow. So they aren't leaving them, bro. They have to go eat. You're taking them when they're out eating. If you did it in front of them, they'd attack you. You do this to them every day. That's psychological t t torture. So I get it. Oh, I'm allowing them to live on my property. So they're in, in like, you just make this fake deal with this chi these chickens to, so you can steal from them. Like, I guarantee you're not only eating your wild chicken, little tiny wild chicken eggs, bro. You're, you're just making shit up. Every carnist is like, oh, no, I get my meat from the Amish. Oh, yeah, I eat nothing but grass fed. Bullshit. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. You know the fucking truth. You know you're lying. You know you're being dishonest up here. You know you're being a half-ass. Woo! It's that same with honey. It's like, so there's a give and a receive a give and a take, and there that is symbiosis. A so give and a take, a give and a receive. We need to. No, that is to, not symbiosis, um, bro. Nonsense. I'll, I'll touch you just on add, this. You just change those words we around. Can do both. No, to, to make that work, he's just. You could see him do it in his head. Look at him. He's all. Oh, how can I make this sound right? Fuck. No, yes. Fakers. Symbiosis is both organisms mutually giving, not give and take. What are you giving the animal? Are you, oh, I give him a, a place to live in my head. Bullshit. Until I, like. Bullshit. Until you no. take all their property from them. Take all their, their rights. life. Their first because and only too, main piece of property. You're too lazy to make, some, make a fucking garden and grow your own food. You got to pay other people to, like, these clowns. These, like, just talk. The, ah! Yeah. Clownery. You can do both, is what you're saying. I'm you're shocked saying a lot that these guys are such clowns. A lot of people can't. A lot of people can't, right? For you to be fully vegetarian first, are your veggies even uh, sustainable, bioavailable in nutrients? Oh, I mean, you're yeah. Poison crops no, no, and the ground is. Same question for whatever you're eating. You could go the same way for that direction. You can't just eat vegetables from the grocery store. Otherwise, you're going to die. But you can eat the meat from the grocery store. That's okay. All day long. Completely okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't eat soy. Eat meat that with soy. You know, like this just fucking stupid logic. People like this spout all day, coping, trying to convince themselves when they're right, when they're not. Yeah, and trying to convince themselves. I'm sorry, this whole thing about, oh, either eat organic or don't eat at all is absolute BS. We have to eat something. Sure, growing our own crops organically, every all to the highest degree would, would be ideal. But buying regular ass GMO sprayed vegetables from the grocery store is exponentially better morally for the environment and for yourself than just going and buying meat and even buying meat from the farmer's market or from the Amish. I'll say that. Like, I, I don't, you know, I, I know people, even vegans will get mad at me for saying that because I get, yes, we all want to eat organic and whatever, but it's an absolute, absolute fallacy. These people making making people scared of vegetables and grains and all these things. I just, I cannot. And what did he say? Bioavailable. Again, Bio these buzzwords that Joe Rogan confuse think people. Bullshit. Anti nutrients. Anti nutrients. Fat adapt apt adaptation. Just like pure snake oil and people. Everyone, including Kareem Mays, which we'll get to later. Oh, shit. These clowns inside the truth movement pushing this carnivore stuff is just, it's just. It makes me sad. It, it's just the next the level. Like, wow. I think they're beta males and really, yeah, really <laughs> dominant we need women. A it's we not even cool. Vegan. We're gonna we're gonna make a soundboard. We're gonna get uh, you saying beta, ma fucking beta, beta fucking males. beta males. We're gonna have that as a button. A lot of areas, <laughs> a lot of people are eating, you know, vegetables and stuff that are 
um, that have no nutrition in it. I mean, it is a fact. You see a lot of vegans that are malnutrition. It is a fact. <clears throat> Can it be done? Yes. It takes dedication and sometimes. You ever see malnourished carnists? You see them everywhere. They don't even know it. And, you know, you have to take into consideration ancestral energy. The origins of our ancestors were that energy oh. is comprised in bullshit, our Bullshit, new age, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Sorry. Bullshit, fake, fucking new age Watch nonsense. Watch the streetwise spirituality lecture. Jeez. Again, just, you know, not to Mark Passio worship here, but just like, okay, he's the, the best, most concise. I say concise, but they're like eight hour long lectures, but like. He's not, it's not his own why shit. We're all here. He's gathered this information. So again, Justin earlier was like, oh, natural law, what, Pasio's version or Manly P. Hall? It's everyone's fool. It's your own relationship with truth. Truth is, regardless if you believe in it or who you heard it from, he should fucking know better. Sorry, yeah. rant over. Yeah. No, I, I actually just said that well, yesterday. What Wasn't that yesterday when I said that natural law is like what we naturally develop as we get older and after what we've been exposed to, our, our interpretation of it grows and changes. It should. It's supposed to if we're open to it, if we're doing the shadow work, if we're holding ourselves accountable, sure. if we're, you know. Aligning if a, yourself with it. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, most people get they stagnate, you know, not even talking. And then, you know, again, to bring up Mark again, he's talking about this in his earlier or more recent shows um it's not even talking about the people in the freedom movement they should know better Whatever. they should continue the process of growth and integrating this knowledge and growing up and yeah learning natural laws we experience things and they see oh wow then why am i having this reaction why did i do that that's not in line with natural law do the shadow work where's that coming from blah 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 like that's what we're supposed to do and these people doing it more than anyone that's why it's but they're like dug in stubborn not not being immovable with their beliefs which is like thinking that they could teach people something when obviously they don't even know what they're talking about thinking they can teach people something and not learn anything further well this is gonna probably sound stupid but i think like natural law comes beta males naturally. You, you, you look well you well, uh, sorry, I got distracted by that. Okay, so natural law. Uh, say, say when we we're all kids, we've all seen fucking Bambi, right? Remember that hunter when he shot Bambi's mom? Everybody in the fucking theater knew that guy was a piece of shit. But then we're being yeah. taught that hunting's okay, you know? And then, then we have to break out of that brainwashing as adults and realize the natural law that we knew as children, you know, like the school systems just dumb us down as fuck. That and beta males. Sorry. <laughs> In our epigenetics. So the transition is long and needs to... But yeah, the cherry picking of the ancestors is just absolutely ridiculous as as, as an excuse to, to, to the not being in line with natural law with how you eat and the way you, and it's not even about eating it's just killing animals like pedini is always like why are you so focused on everyone's diet it's like i don't care what you eat i care that you're killing animals i don't care that you eat it like that's gross but like you're killing animals that's the whole point there's a long process of that so can it be done uh yeah people can do it but the getting on activating getting on the battlefield so we can get that first most crucial stage of the enslavement of our species humanity since we are the stewards and we are there to take care of the animals for that that balance what a fool no change is going to happen for the planet for the animal kingdom uh, for these ecosystems until humanity cleans up their own shit. How the fuck are uh, you going to yeah, stop yeah. slavery by promoting yeah. slavery? Because that's literally what he's saying. Continuing slavery you know? for a while longer. Let's continue you know, slavery for a while longer. 
instead of taking the next step, let's not take the next step. And we'll just wait and continue to be fake activists on Facebook, like Justin Padini, who thinks he's changing the world by posting about PDD every day. <laughs> Unreal. We must stop. I'm PDD. talking about in the aggregate. I mean, sure, a community can go and escape and, you know, live in the outskirts and, you know, <clears throat> have a homestead vegan lifestyle. Yeah, that's great. You know, all 15 of you, you guys are really creating change for the current human. Condition. There is 15 of us about, I think. So he I don't said know, the, I did it. We can make <laughs> change. He said the way we can make change is by go moving to the outskirts of the city and making a, a vegan. A vegan utopia. Yeah. Is out <laughs> hiding, hiding from the world and not oh, doing anything stop, to change get a, it. Get away from my audience. You guys yeah. stop. Stop trying to convince my audience of something different than what I'm saying. Just go isolate yourselves. Yeah. yeah. Sounds great. Wow. <laughs> it's really good encouragement for, you know, your spirituality training videos to, to tell people to isolate themselves and go off and not try and change the world for the better. Holy crap. Which is like the opposite of what Mark tells people to do. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you better hope I never meet Mark Passio someday. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, you guys are donezo. Like, I'm sorry. Daddy's going to be mad yeah. at you. Like, I don't know if he doesn't see this shit and he just doesn't pay attention. He seems like he does, but holy crap. Complete clownery in his, in his name attached to it. Oh, just everyone look at his comments. Oh, you're so great, Will. It's just nonstop yes men, nonstop. Oh, everyone's great. Everyone's great. Therefore, no one knows who the piece of shit is because everyone's just great. And no one holds anyone to any kind of accountability. No one, no one everyone just lets everything go and everyone gets mad at us. And it's like the truth's belligerent. We learn that every day. Like, oh, he's they're just talking shit. Therefore, nothing on their channel is true. Okay, sure, buddy. Throw the baby with the bathwater out. Keep doing that. That's why we're we're at where we at are at right now. At where we at. Where, if you know, you know. <laughs> oh shit! That's how I'll jump it off. Simply. Just, uh, so, um, and understanding that you know the the main what's the principle of like nature right now? is simple. Did you fully just, just... vegetarian first. Are your veggies even uh, sustainable, okay. bioavailable, like in nutrient? We need people to get out there and talk about objective morality. And we need people. Hold on. It, Sorry. I why this back. is such a big problem is because it's polarizing. This I'm talking about in the aggregate. I mean, sure. A community can go and escape and, you know, live in the outskirts and, okay, you know, have a homestead vegan lifestyle. Yeah, that's great. You know, all 15 of you, you guys. Really yeah. You think that's what vegans are into? Like just isolating themselves and not doing any activism. No, like you're a, a fool. That was a soft jab at you and your show. He's like, Oh, you and your 15, like what you're doing with his followers. Are you 15 of you? He's like, trying, oh, yeah, a lot more than that. he's trying to, uh, yeah, do a little jab back at us talking shit. When if he I, wants, we can oh, compare no, numbers. He's talking about being out in the desert. Oh, he's done some research. Okay. You think? I yeah. mean, I don't know. Or I could just be talking to the show, the people, you know, who are well, on. That would GT be the Live. one jab you take at us if, yeah. if, if you're like, you oh, know. you guys trying to isolate out the desert. That's not going to do anything. Like, no. I don't know. change okay. for the current human condition. So. Yeah, and you are by continuing slavery of animals, right? I have. Just telling everyone to keep doing it. Keep There's doing it, everyone. Keep keep victimizing animals, sentient beings, in the name of natural law. <laughs> it's a very complex and nuanced topic. Every individual is different. I think uh, ancestral diet has a lot to do with it as well. Oh, Not boy. everyone even has the capability to healthy, oh, just boy. completely. New oh, age the bullshit. He's from. Yeah. Yeah. Blood type diet that's already been debunked. So I gotta say, yeah. I think I support slavery, guys. I really do. Yeah. To an extent. Since, since you have the name, Not like name we have an society. Ancestral. Since that's the word ancestral, I'm just gonna go eat meat. Because it's ancestral. No. And 
since they did it in caveman days, you know, that should dictate our, our morality these days, especially our morality when we're representing natural law. I don't know, but I know I have a slave right here. And I think that us humans, if we do have pets, I know that's a form of slavery, but I think that's like the one area where, you know, we should be close with animals and there's really no way to avoid, you know what I mean? We need to have that close bond. We argue that adoption would be stewardship. I mean, I think uh, buying an animal from a breeder, supporting breeders, that for sure, that's you're contributing to slavery, but obviously the cat you know, rolls up to you on the street who's got a broken leg like this one <laughs> and he's you know it's gonna die if you ignore it and then you take it on and you become its steward that's a different thing than going and buying like some purebred dog from a trainer that's you know completely immoral and or just yeah whatever backyard breeders i mean let's you see it all the time but yeah it's just uh, the pets one is yeah it's a uh, it's an interesting one to dive into and I definitely vegans need to rethink, you know, like buying, there's a lot of animals, like buying parrots and stuff and contributing to that. Like uh, there's certain animals, they are, as they exist in the wild, they are wild animals versus you can argue cats and dogs are in a little bit diff different of a situation. And we can't just release them all in the wild because, you know, like numbers wise, number one, they probably wouldn't make it and the uh, effect it would have on the environment. But you gotta yeah, see it in the Philippines. Dogs are wild animals in the Philippines. They got free roaming. They'll sit and lay on the, the, the road on the side of the road. Not in the middle of the road, but they'll they always have more lanes, more space there. Well the dogs will be off to the side of the road and sunbathing. So you, you avoid the far lane, you know, when you're going quick because you want to make sure the animals are safe. But there's no leashes. There's no collars. What? Yeah. I've just seen videos Tyler? like it, Tyler, like as well. It's like part of the culture there. Like they just live amongst the people. Like it's just, it's crazy to see. It's really wonderful. They have a level of freedom that they don't have anywhere near that in America. And I, I was really proud of, of that and very happy to marry into that culture where I saw animals had so much freedom because I, I knew like when I saw that, I knew my, my animals were slaves in comparison. Like they didn't, you know, and I consider myself a great dog guy. I love my dogs. I take good care of them. But, you know, like when you see them having that level of freedom where they can roam Really, and just lay down on the side yeah. and and do what they want. It's wonderful. Hey, sweetie. It's it's more of a personal thing than certain people would like to acknowledge. You know. You know. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you, you and here's my main issue with it. Hyperlink. Listen to me. Do, you don't hear me. Listen. The reason why this is such a big problem. <clears throat> is because it's polarizing. This is where very, all the militant very. vegans come out of the woodworks. The truth is belligerent, bro. Sorry. Not everyone's going to be nice all the time. Especially when, uh, you know, animals are dying. It's not like they aren't dying by the billions in the meantime. Dude, no. That's like saying, oh, being anti-war is polarizing. Yeah. Like I'm trying to do my podcast. I'm not gonna. T I'm not gonna speak out against Israel. I gotta, you know, like what? Well, that's polarizing. Yeah, it's fucking polarizing. Like that. <laughs> yeah, because the normies. It doesn't mean it's yeah, bad to the, to the or people, wrong. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It just because people react to it in a way that they're programmed to doesn't mean that it's not truth and that you shouldn't be speaking it. Dude, right? if your show was polarizing, you'd have more people watching it. Like people aren't interested in boring nothing subjects like polarizing is what we need to do to change this place like attack these polarizing issues instead of just ignoring them and standing against your standing up to the vegans like dude are you fucking kidding no, we me, need to bro? have if anything we're doing the opposite of what they're saying yeah. we're trying to have a broader reach they're i'm sorry but they're preaching to a niche audience 
you know, and I, you know, while I understand, yes, we all agree, we need to understand government is slave, slavery, human authority is not real, you know. Yeah, we got that 15 years ago, bro. Yeah, yeah and it's not, uh, you, you need to have more, you know, in there, you know, like there's, there's so much out there in social media, like, like we were talking before, like, don't you think there's value in vegans teaching other normie lib vegans the way about, you know, about how to continue with their principles of veganism to how it subsidies. connects with human slavery and yeah, and subsidies, all, all that shit, you know, like to just, like you said, throw the baby out of the bathwater just because you don't have a good reaction to it because your audience doesn't have a good reaction to it to your niche, you know, just because you're trying to be social famous. community. Yeah. Your niche social Fucking community way. is, you know, it's not trendy, you know, and maybe polarizing in your community. That's like, that's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. Pussy bullshit. <laughs> Fake. Ignorant. Will faker. That's why I think it's more Will tell tell truth. Truth. Yeah. Will tell truth, like projecting much. And that's the thing is that people, be the, be the people with the truth signs and the I tell the truth and trust me, they're the liars. They're the ones they're loud about this because they have the personal problem with it. So I don't ever trust anyone. Oh, we'll tell the truth, truth here. And then, oh yeah, it's okay to, it's okay to manipulate animals and take, take animals property away from them. You know, it's in line with, with natural law. And then just like this half ass, like, oh, don't, don't do anything too difficult. You know, don't do anything too difficult. And I'm sorry, the Holy ancestral sh- diet stuff. I'm oh like, my like, God. Have you Clown. looked into that? What is the research backing that to you? You Clown, having that belief dude. or that, you know, like. These people didn't that, live like, past 50, 40. Like you're a clown. Are there study? Yeah. A certain. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, I, I. Clown, dude emails nonstop they all come out and they all think we must accomplish this goal right we must this is the only way you do it where's your work i'm doing what i gotta do i'm doing what i can do i advocate that for nobody several years but where's your work put it out there let's get to it bro i have like three thousand videos both I mean, yeah, pretty, if if somebody can go for it, that, that's a personal de- decision. We need to understand that we are in a state of war and enslaved. So yeah. really, thanks, Captain Obvious. We've known this for a decade. We've known this. Our parents knew about this. You're talk. You're talking to us vegans like we don't understand what you're saying. This is old news to us. That's why we're vegan now. We understand it's more than just this scared of the government. So we have to change everybody's mind about the government. We have to change everyone's mind. Like, we know the government is control, bro. But guess what? The government is mostly just in your head. And that's all any, anybody needs to know. 90% of government is in your head. You are self-regulating yourself all the time. That is what you need to be talking about not we need to protest the government like give me a break dude hearts and minds you don't get this stuff by like repeating this over and over and over again and then ignoring doing any other work because you think you're on this righteous path because you're telling people the government's bad like fuck off dude Ugh. we need people to get out there and talk about objective morality Carnists and and the illusion of government so people can quit their cult. And sure, you want to talk about extending morality to the animal animal kingdom, which is which is true. I totally agree with that. You can do that. You can educate that. Just like Mark has. Mark has his few episodes and then he, and he doesn't try to go there anymore because it's so polarizing. It's not uh, really because he mentions it all the fucking time. You're just too dumb to see it. You think you're a part of what he's talking about because but but in reality, you're who he's talking about. The trash monkeys. The shit shit socks. Trash apes. Like you think you're a part of his team because you're sitting by him and doing all his stuff, his 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 uh Yeah, his thumbnails and everything. You think he's you're on his team, but he in his way is telling you that you're a fucking idiot because you're still 
taking advantage of sentient beings and being actually doing work. And you're, you know, I know you said you have kids, you're feeding your kids uh, a diet that they might not want to be uh, a part of spiritually, you know? So, you know, wow, bro. <laughs> okay. And another thing I just thought about, Mark was railing on people, uh, Karnas, who claimed that he, when he was away, when he took a break from the show recently, that it was because he was sick from being vegan. Right. And so he was talking about them because they're while you may they may not have directly commented to Mark. Oh, maybe we think you're away because you we think you're sick because you're vegan. They think you can't be as healthy being vegan. They both revealed that in what they said and what we watched. So he is speaking to them. You are those people yeah. who are saying, oh, you're of that you're, you're going to you get those sick. Guys. Because you're like, so that's what Justin said. Padini, when I was like, hey, look at this video. It's about you. He's like, I've never said that to, to, to his face. And I'm like, yes, but you say that on the daily to everyone else. Like you are the quintessential anti-vegan. Like, and to have, again, I'm going back to hyperlinks question was an interesting question yeah. that you would want someone to ask on your show. And in Ted, you went on a temper tantrum because you know you're not right. And you know you've been bested over and over again by every vegan that comes here. And you're just mad and you're having a little temper tantrum. You couldn't even control yourself on your professional show to answer the question. You had to go on some generalized, nonsense, fallacy-filled fucking rant where you're like completely out of touch. Definitely not in line with natural law. Definitely not anything I want to learn from anyone. Um, you're supposed to take oh, Mark's up, stuff, and not dilute it with meat and fucking dairy and eggs and no, gross and shit. Even you know what? And whatever. Fuck Mark then. It's, it has nothing to do with the person. It has to do with the teachings and the principles and following them through to their ends and aligning your actions with them. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Mark. And not caring what other people think of you and your principles. You fucking pussies. Oh, people aren't going to watch my show if I'm vegan. Fucking pussies. Jesus. Too polarizing. You guys polarize. It's us. It's not y'all in the death cult who are the majority. Right. Follow the majority. What kind of truther tells everyone to go with the, with the, with the, with the majority of every, all the sheep? Like, holy crap. What a great on. fucking point. I I've never heard it said that way, way, but that's pretty good, brother. Like, I hope this, these yeah. people fucking reevaluate. Yeah, like it doesn't it. seem like they're happy about really talking about this. Um, even, you know, like this other guy, whoever the guy on the right is, I can never remember his name. Uh, Logan Hart. Logan, oh, yeah. <laughs> Braxton, sing the song. Tell us your idea. Braxton, uh, Braxton had an a idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> For Mr. Hart here. It's a uh, be quiet and drive. He's going to perform it tonight. He's going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Braxton thinks it's funny that uh, Logan Hart be a is into poop, poop stuff I sexually. professional, he says. Not that I, I'm, a, I'm one to king shame, but <laughs> being into poops a little weird. It's just silly stuff. We're just, we're just messing around here <laughs> with the poop stuff. We're just messing stuff. around. Not the vegan stuff. Not That's the serious. Vegan stuff. But the poop stuff. The just, poop stuff is, just, is uh, you know. We're just farting around. We kid, we kid. We're just farting. Oh my, <laughs> damn, okay, babe. So don't go into detail, guys. But are you guys for real? Is he really into poop stuff? He won't go into detail, but yes. What the fuck? Not him. It's other God, people in a that up still world. need to do more of the work and get get from that reactive polarization to more of the balance. Eat, eat, we need to, to balance that polarization. There are certain objectives that we need to accomplish in the aggregate. Right. Yeah, I know you guys have a weekly discussion. Uh -oh. if this is oh, here Hyperlink, it comes. If this is who I think here it it comes. Is. I know you guys have a weekly. So he, oh, okay. So, yeah. So right. this is our, yeah. our official, our first uh, VGT in the wild. Another show talking about us. This is our first one. Yay, Hi, congrats. It's been 26 episodes. Proud of us. Um, 
<clears throat> I know this happened a while ago. We're big but, time now. Yeah, we're big time now. <laughs> Damn. We got a guy mention us who has 900 subscribers. Woo! So, so nine people yeah, will see it. I know you guys have a weekly discussion. Yeah, nine nine people are watching his show. Statistically, he's got nine people, <laughs> which is fine. 10. We have we have at least fifteen. Right we have at least fifteen. So nice. you know, like I said, these guys are just about as bad as us, as far as like uh, professionality goes. <laughs> discussion. If this yeah, is, but at least we have a morally. At least we have a morally consistent message. Just saying. Well, we're we're doing it instead of just talking about it like these clowns. Who knows what these guys do? Like you know, like that's the thing. It's like all all the shit, and none of the all the kit, none of the shit. Like they got all the stuff to make it sound right, but do they actually pr like? This has been the whole thing for fifteen years now. I've been complaining about these people talking about this stuff, but not actually doing it in their lives. Not doing agorism, well, not trying to like trying to keep a job, trying to buy new cars, stupid shit like that. Trying to make money on YouTube, which creates gener revenue generation for the war machine. You know, like you who. Well, not only is, that, like then, oh. hold on. I've seen bits of your guys' show, and um, it's. It's pretty whack, bro. All you guys oh, do is just talk. Oh, we're whack. Wait, you have to go back two clicks for that. We got we to gotta hear that again. Like, oh, pretty oh. whack, bro. Yeah. Oh, yo. we're whack. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> dope, yo. Okay. You got to turn whack. that into a sound right. clip for the show. I know you guys have a week. Shut up, John Bob. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, okay. Sorry. If this is hyperlink, if this is who I think it is, and I seen bits of your guys' show and um it's it's pretty whack bro all you guys do is just talk shit yes. about people Mission accomplished. so anyways yeah, i'm he, done he on that specifically rant. mentioned jeffrey phillips that's not helping anyone I, and I, I i'm not trying to be a dick or an asshole but just getting on a call with a group of people to talk shit about people to troll people i'm ca i'm calling you guys out I'm calling you guys out right now. This is what I'm doing. This is the meaning and purpose of this rant is I'm calling you guys out. You guys aren't doing shit. You guys just talk shit. And this does not help the cause. We need true education, effective, efficient education, not trolling. Because all you're doing is putting yourself in a tunnel vision and – Pushing people's awareness away because of the reactiveness that's and the what polarization. You are doing. So that's my that's You're my doing piece. It by people to continue Let's move on to animals, um, you toolbox. Holy Did we just have out. a beta male that isn't even breast <laughs> weaned yet? Space. Everyone, go check out her that? channel. She's uh, I did an interview Bob, with her. Bob, She's Bob, fantastic. Bob. Great show. It's always great to see. Oh you my together. lord! What <laughs> clown show those guys are. I thought I was surprised. I thought like they would be better than that. These the guys still breastfeed. What's that? I said the guy still breastfeeds. I, yeah. I don't think we should be taking it too seriously. <laughs> what was I telling you today, Braxton? Earlier, these guys with their black button-up shirts. Oh All yeah, the yeah, the button-up shirts and the beard. And the like cocky attitude, this ego guys, these occult guys, they're all ego guys. And especially like the if they don't, guy. if they're not, yeah, if they're not like, uh, you know, at least a, a trying to protect animals in some way, then it's just like, wow, you're, you're just one of those ego guys. You think you are the pinnacle of everything and that everyone's just here for you. Um, and the only reason they believe that stuff is because they don't want to change. They don't. They don't want to not eat meat because they they think that it makes them a man. They think that having buff muscles makes you a man, and um, but they're not. They're little children that have to hide behind things, black t-shirts or black black button-up shirts and beards, and um, spout their nonsense because uh, they're scared little kids that don't really know what's going on. It's crazy. Mesquite. 
Yeah, well, but, they're, uh, like, yeah. they're so, just gurus. It's just gurus. It's just gurus of a religion that's pretending to not be a religion. religion. Like, that's really all it is at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. We do not speak of veganism in our church. Get out. Cast yourselves out of town and make a commune on the edge outskirts of town. Yeah. Like, it's literally. It's <laughs> my property. You're not allowed oh here. God, dude. Like, wow. I'm glad you're not in power because things would be exactly how they are now. Exactly. They and they think they don't realize how hypocritical it all is. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty pathetic. But we're doing a deep dive on these guys. Guys, dude, super deep, 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 deep dive. Deep dive. Deep dive. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Oh, Mom, John Bob looks like MySpace Tom. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Who's Tom? Tom from MySpace. <laughs> I have no uh, idea. That dude. He's just some what do you want some to call What's that? What's that? Whoa, what's next, Braxton? What do we got next? Uh, okay, we did Pythagoras. We did Leo Tolstoy. We did Edmund Burke. <clears throat> now we're gonna watch. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna watch some cool activists that are all um around we're gonna check out a couple other um channels and see you know not just be trash actually be effective yeah I'm like hypocrites yeah so this is another another person that would be a uh appear to these two guys we just watched in the video which is shocking because she seems to completely get it mm -hmm. where her and her peers can completely don't get it yeah somehow missed the mark but other people are uh mark are getting there oh, oh wow. yeah so to think that these two are peers these three are peers is going to be shocking if on the path of truth you did not end up a vegan anarchist. You did not go all the way. So today I'm going to talk about how the ideologies of vegetarianism and libertarianism did not go all the way. And they could be considered tent pitching ideologies. Tent pitching, a term used by Mark Passio as in going up the mountain of enlightenment and stopping short of it and pitching a tent, um, you know, which of course we're all liable to do at some point. And so um, we're going to talk about why that is the case with these ideologies and uh, first we must make the distinction between uh, the qualitative and quantitative aspects of good and evil and some people think that uh, the less evil means that it's good and we have to understand qualitatively good and evil don't change into each other because of the law of identity evil is evil good is good and the law of excluded middle there is no in between now the in-between has to deal with the relative spectrum of evil and then separately the relative spectrum of good. And so you can have more and less of either. And with evil, we can say that sexual assault is um, better than rape, but even that doesn't quite sound right. It sounds better to say that rape is worse than sexual assault. You know, they're both evil. And so, um, so what we see with these philosophies of vegetarianism and libertarianism is that they want to lessen the quantity of evil to oh so little, you know, oh so little animal exploitation, oh so little human exploitation, limited government. And um <clears throat> and then and, and that's a problem, you know, and, and you know, even some vegetarians they want to go as so tiny, like maybe 0.01%, you know, where they're just catching those eggs falling out of those those chickens' vaginas. And we're going to talk about why that's a problem. And it, it's a problem because we have to always begin with principles. Principles are first, first principles. And when we're talking about the, the duality of good and evil, we're talking about a moral um, duality, a spiritual dimension there. And that regards our moral compass and the do no harm. And, um, you know, of course, we have to evolve out of our lower selfish nature. Um, it's all about me, 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 into the higher moral um, aware and awake, you know, 
um, selves, you know, our real selves, you know, that's where we're, we're aware of, of, of what's going on and um, we're, where we unify our own consciousness within and then we live in harmony with natural law without. So when we develop moral consciousness, we understand the principle of self-ownership and that I own my own body and animal owns their own body. So I have no owners, I have no masters. Even though government wants to tell me they own me, like, that's not real. It's, you know, authority is an illusion. So it's not real that I own another animal. Now, of course, we can take care of animals, you know, and have them be like our family members, um, but that's completely different than owning them and using them. And when we talk about using, we're, um, we're now speaking of the distinction, the moral distinction in philosophy between ends and means. And every sentient life is an ends into itself, not a means to an ends. Um, you know, we shouldn't use each other to get something, just in the way that we shouldn't use animals to get something or exploit or objectify. And so, you know, with vegetarianism, the question really becomes, why compromise that principle? Like, even to a tiny degree, because, you know, when you compromise that principle, you're actually indulging in an action that's diluting the principle in, you know, in, in bringing on a little bit of self-contradiction, you know, which fragments the consciousness. And it's a holographic fractal universe. So even just a tiny area of your life where you do that, I mean, you start to kind of blur the lines between good and evil and other areas and exceptions can start to pop up everywhere, you know, and that's just, you know, you're becoming divided. You're becoming divided within because let's face it, none of us are going to be perfect and there are going to be situations with food where we are going to, might have to compromise. You know, as a vegan, I can say that, you know, there are a few times I've compromised on honey, like, and not happy about that, but, you know, sometimes it happens. So why would you seek to create that imperfection, you know, when there, there are going to have to be real life, you know, exceptions and which doesn't make it good. You know, let's remember, it's, you know, the qualitative distinction there. But, um, so, you know, this really becomes apparent that the, how, how a lower quantity, how it relates to a high quantity in libertarianism where you have, you know, limited government and, you know, you know, hundred more than hundred years ago, you have our founding fathers, you know, writing the constitution, but they opened the door for horrendous evil. And now we're on the verge of global tyranny and everything's chaos and a mess and the whole financial system and all. And so, you know, when we take a, a step back and look holistically, you know, that seed of evil of allowing just 1% tyranny and slavery, 1% owning of us is now like going to be like 100%, you know, so you know, you see how the only difference between, you know, the seed and the tree is just time, the factor of time. And that's why, you know, when we start to corrupt our, our principles, they um, ultimately lead to greater corruption. And, um, and not only that, it's that everyone influences everyone else. And so, you know, if we're in these ideologies of vegetarian libertarianism, we're also we have that influence on other people as well to start making their own exceptions in their own ways, you know, for government and um, animal torture and, and murder and, and, and whatnot. And in government should be considered human torture. <laughs> so let's, um, you know, if we pitched a tent, let's get out of our tent and start to develop, develop some self-love because that's really what it all comes down to. I mean, to love ourselves, you know, enough to want the best for everyone and to care about every sentient being and to know that when we do that um, we will go up that spiral dynamic of evolution and our lives will become lighter and freer and happier and more joy joyful and prosperous so yeah so I'm encouraging you all to to do that and uh, thank you sorry I have a cold thank you for listening to me and I love you guys goodbye wow of, wow a vegan who's preaching uh, who is telling and teaching people about human slavery and how government is bad and human authority is not real. Somehow they're able to juggle both those things at one time. How crazy. I thought that wasn't supposed to exist. It should be impossible, according to those clowns.
No, we do with one thing and one thing only. That's all. That's all we have room for. Yeah. <laughs> right on the government. And telling people that don't know the government bad, that the government's bad. Like, holy Justin crap. does that shit so bad. So bad. You got to focus on the it's, government. It's so Otherwise, easy to default to our claim about government. That's why everyone does it. It's so easy just to be like, oh, government's holding me back as a human. <sighs> and like, But it's like in your head, dude. Like... We all live in anarchy most of the time, you know, like take advantage of it. Yeah, but even voters are against the government and they still vote like, you know, like it, it's just preposterous. Everybody claims they're against something as they work with it. And then they claim you're only supposed to focus on one thing at a time. And I've never, dude, the world's so confused. They're so stupid. Everybody is. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, here's another Leo Colt toy. A man can live to be healthy without killing animals for food. Therefore, if he eats meat the part and he participates in taking animal life merely for the sake of his appetite and to act so is immoral. Like, you know, like these, so, so, so uh, those two clowns watching this video are like, they know more than these guys, you know, like these guys that we've learned so much from over millennia, you know, like Will Keller with his 900 viewers, 900 members, you know, like he's, he's, he's more morally, you know, morally, he's morally superior to Leo Tolstoy, you know, pure clownery. What are we I, I just don't get how they they're saying we talk shit about people. Of course we do. Fucking, we're literally better than those people we're talking shit about. Maybe they should like stop being morally like immature pieces of shit and harming animals, and we won't talk shit about them. Yeah, it's not that hard. We we have the option every single day. Do I want to be a shitty person and do bad things? Or do I want to be morally superior? Do I want to be better than I was yesterday? When I was a meat eater, I was a piece of shit that supported animal abuse. You know, like, I chose to be better than that. They have a problem with us talking shit about them. Maybe they should become better people. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's got to speak up for the voice. They're talking shit. They're oh, it's whack, bro. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> what year is this? Like, how old is this guy? Whack. I don't know, but you better make a sound bite out of that shit. That was funny as hell. <laughs> Just taking a call and talking shit. No, we're holding <laughs> you to a standard. Like, hello, a standard you should be at already. We're shocked you aren't here yet. That's why we're holding you to the standard. That's why we're we're trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Because well, you see, like, an humility. Imposter. you're all over the place. Humility is a powerful teacher, though. Like if we if we keep talking shit, they're eventually gonna get it. They're gonna be embarrassed with the fact that they're actually worse people than child molesters. They'll figure no. it out. These clowns, these clowns are trying to get famous, right? They haven't been famous before, so they don't know how to handle criticism yet. So they're used to having all these yes men around them oh you're so great will your videos are so good oh my god and then anyone says anything they're just like oh they're jealous like it comes you get this berate of like you get this non-stop like nonsense uh illogical responses from them and it's just like you know what do you expect if you're not doing things right and you're screaming from the rooftops like you are and the people that actually have done more work than you see that you're 
faking, you know, and then you can't handle them calling you out. And so you double down on the shitty position and, you, and that's a, that's a thing. It's like, they think that they think this little, they think cause they got 20 people watching them that they're famous and, and they get this big head and this big ego and it's just, they can't handle anyone saying anything on the contrary. They, and all they can do is resort to temper tantrum, which is what we saw. Um, you know, the, the dude on the right seemed to hold it together a little bit better but um uh, yeah just pure clownery i mean both of them just every word out of their mouth was just ridiculous easy debunkable like you're just like it's i would be embarrassed to to make that kind of an argument for anything just like oh you know like we can't we can't um you know overwhelm ourselves we got to focus on just like the easiest thing to like complain about government. Like, give me a break. Such a loser after 10 years, you know, like he was seem he's gray. So he must, if he's been a truther for a while, like you should know this by now. And the, the being mad at government thing is like, that's like the first year you, you wake up your eyes, you're mad at government for a little bit. Then you realize, okay, no, you know, it's, it's mostly, you know, like, we're mostly in anarchy. The government's mostly fake. It's just a reality TV show to distract us from the fact that we don't have any choice. So why point it? You know, why pay attention to it? And and then some of us just don't get it, and they just like being an anarchist, and they like being they like calling themselves these things, you know, that they don't really understand or they don't perform they don't actually do in their lives these fanarchists fans of anarchy they are actual anarchists they are doing agorism like i said they're trying to keep normal jobs they're paying taxes they're buying new cars or fakers um these people think because they're doing videos that they don't have to do anything in their real life that's why we criticize larkin rose so much because we know he doesn't do jack shit you know, for anarchy in his real life outside of just making these endlessly boring videos where he's going over the most elementary shit over and over and over again, which is what these clowns were doing before. Like, dude, we know all this stuff and you're just trying to sound all cosmic and hippie. Like, it's like, dude, whatever you got to do to get chicks, man, you know, like whatever. Oh, no. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty tired after that. That was three hours. That's a good one. Um, yeah, we have we can do next recently. Uh, R.I.P. Doctor McDougal. Um, oh yeah, I know he was into big pharma, shit, but he he uh, did a lot of good. Also, uh, he passed away last week. He has a big part. My mom raised me on his protocols. And I, I have results, so I'm, um, you know, like I can only owe them. I only owe them to him and my mom, really. But he bought uh, so, shot, so um, you know, we can't really. Unfortunately, unfortunately we can't. It's a bummer. Um, not, not to go too about? into detail. I don't want to talk, you know, ill of the dead. But uh, what what happened to the guy? Well, he had a he had a a, a, an, a problem. He had a stroke when he was like a teenager, and he wasn't yeah. supposed to survive it. And so he already had issues, body issues. Um, but then uh, he got the clot shot, unfortunately, yeah. and so you know that probably didn't help his pr problems he already had. So he died at 77, which is not, you know, we would have loved to have seen a guy turn 120, you know, so it's pretty disappointing to lose him that early. But he had um, they think they think he just had another stroke like he had before or a different, maybe a different one than he had before. But he had a problem already um, and he was lucky to live as long as he did. But the clot shot definitely didn't help. I'm sure. You know, I mean, that was only like three years ago, and that's how long it takes usually. Makes sense. Yeah, and he, they had him podcasting ten days before he passed, looking fine. 
shitty. Yeah, That's I'd weird. blame the shot for that. I mean, it it could have been the, the stroke too, though. I mean, that'll take years off of your life, and you know, if you had that kind of problems at yeah. eighteen, Jesus. definitely. Yeah. You know? Yeah, both, Either both way, I was shocked. Things together like, didn't what? do him any favors. What did you say, Ellie? Oh, just those. I'm sure those two. I mean, just those two factors alone yeah. wasn't doing his body any favors, you know. Like, and he probably got all of them too, you know. Yeah, like all the boosters shitty. and all that stuff. Shitty. So, yeah. It's a bummer. Like, sleep, yeah, that's like a G. Like you would want to, you know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is a bummer. It's mm -hmm. weird that yeah, that guess. movement of men are so awake on on the vegan scale, but then you see them like promoting mainstream medicine, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's disappointing. Still caught up in academia, the you know mainstream academia world, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Even though they yeah, promote these guys stuff, to be full truthers. Yeah. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Get the physicians committee to like. Turn over more naturopathic message, message, or message or methods. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, dudes. I'm I just gonna, I'm gonna play the rest of. <clears throat> I'm gonna play the rest of this video and uh, call it a night. This is Mark's last podcast, the last ten minutes of his podcast. After uh, I'm dropping out, guys. Two hundred. Almost 300 episodes. Later, dude. Have a good night, John. Bob. Boink. Oh, it's the wrong one. I'm trying to do it up here. You trying to do his uh, like and wave I off? I just feel like I need a hiatus from yeah. this type of uh, broadcasting because I don't feel it's best practices. Certainly not today when we have as resistant of a community as we do. And man, do we have a resistant community? I mean, my work went from being respected to completely rejected in this whole community. And to be quite honest, I don't really want any part of the so-called truth and freedom communities anymore. No more than I want any part of the alternative uh, energy, the free energy communities, or any other group or system. The, the work that needs to be done is internal and singular. It needs to be done within our own minds and our own hearts. And that's the work that's not being done. And when people point the finger at me and tell me I haven't done it, you guys really need to fucking take a hard look at yourself and quite frankly, go fuck yourselves because you don't know the work that I did upon myself at all. And if you were doing any kind of real work upon yourself, I'd know who you are and you'd probably be on my network and I would know your name and I would know your work. Or you'd be making a dent in what's fucking going on. And there's nobody in any big uh, social media influencing that's bringing anybody on that's talking about any of this kind of stuff. None. None whatsoever. Zero. They're all fucking keeping losers because all you want is your mammon and your comfort you want money and comfort money and comfort is not going to win you your freedom it's money and sex. beliefs might help us win our freedom making people abandon bullshit religiosity and bullshit belief systems might help us win our freedom really learning technology what do you say braxton i said it's kind of funny because like that that show with will keller was a while ago but what mark pass was talking about now on his like last show is entirely relevant 
Yeah. Well, it wasn't that long ago. It's been this yeah. last, you know, like five five episodes he's done. So the last couple of months, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, it is weird. Seems mm-hmm. like we're all on the same page. Technology to communicate yeah, and publish our understanding of natural law and true morality might help us win our freedom. It's one of the components. But telling people some bullshit fucking version of spirituality is going to win us our freedom? No, that ain't going to get the job done. Telling people it's just about this here political candidate and he's going to get the job done? That's not going to get the job done. Telling people, oh, we need reform in the monetary system. We need, oh, this new crypto, can it's going to be the savior of humanity. No, it ain't going to be the savior of humanity. Oh, my God, we got a new uh, fuel cell. I mean, we just put one of these on every house. That's going to save humanity. No, you'll still have immoral fucking people trying to control everybody. Now, real morality is the only solution. Teaching it via creating media and publishing it out widely and freely is the only solution. That's it. You guys don't want to understand that because it shifts the responsibility away from an external party that you want to abdicate your power to, and it places responsibility firmly on your own shoulders. And you have to shoulder the weight, and you have to carry it, and you have to use your will to get that work done, and you don't want any part of that. That's the bottom line fucking reality that we are trapped Pussies. In. And until you guys admit that you're wrong, and you say the lost phrase of all power, I was wrong, and you say, it is my responsibility to teach the ignorant. It is my responsibility to learn natural law and objective morality and then start creating media and teaching that to others. And until you accept that that is your absolute own burden and your own responsibility to, to shoulder and carry, nothing is going to change here. And that means you got to get better at understanding things. You have to get better at explaining things. You have to get better at learning technology and creating things with it. You're not going to get the job done with fucking ink and parchment. You're not going to get the job done with a fucking megaphone at some fucking protest. You're not going to get the job done going out for a beer with a fucking friend or fucking neighbor. It doesn't work like that. You have to employ the latest technology of the time period you are living in. You got to create and become a small C creator like the big C creator made in its image and likeness and putting things out into the world that did not previously previously exist that we ourselves create and bring forth into the world. That's how we express ourselves as small C creators. That's what needs to be done, ladies and gentlemen. And most of you people don't want to put any skin in the game. You don't want your name out there because you're cowards. You don't want your comfort level changed because you love fucking comfort and safety. You don't want to put any skin in the game. You got to activate your courage. You have to speak out publicly. You have to create something and put it out publicly. That's the problem is that you guys aren't doing that because you're lazy and cowardly. We have to heal the gender divide and stop warring between man and woman. Stop fucking all the hatred of the opposite sex. Treat people with the respect you want to be treated with. Try to morally educate your fellow man and woman. The real thing that you got to be all asking yourself is, How much skin do you have in this game for human freedom? How much have you developed true spirituality and an understanding of what that really encompasses? 
How much are you learning and growing and utilizing your talents to really educate your fellow human being? How much skin have you put in the game? How many sacrifices have you made in the war for freedom? Have you learned how critical technology is in the war for freedom? Have you learned about the two political sides is all about political polarization? That's all it's ever been about. It's two sides of the same coin, and it's all Satanism. It's all control. It's all destruction of free will, which is the destruction of the human spirit and soul. And most of all, above everything else, the real thing that you guys got to ask yourself, the ultimate question that you have to ask yourself is, what the fuck have I done? I don't mean what has Mark Passio done. You got to look yourself in the mirror and you got to ask the all important question. What the fuck have I done? What contribution have you brought forward from inside of yourself and put out there to the community as a whole for it to learn and grow and change in the service of human freedom? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention this season of Water and Earth Thanks, is happening, Mark. Is happening during the Unholy Feminine extended presentation and the forced shadow work that we've done over these six months of time. I'll see you soon. Yeah. So yeah. Clowns and fakers in our midst. They have to be um, you know, we have to self-regulate Inter you guys got to be held accountable. They can't just make mm -hmm. excuses for being lazy. Yep. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's being complacent and like being the exact opposite of everything that Mark Passo has been. I mean, the exact thing basically that Mark Passo has been. <clears throat> yeah. That's why it's been so funny. Go ahead. Like once I watched the whole episode, I was like, "Oh shit, we got to we're complaining about the same stuff for years." Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> and just seeing—I don't know—just like that's it. Really does have to be very disheartening. Just seeing that all the work that you've been doing, you see these promising, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, like new content creators coming up, and like maybe they'll help me with this vision that I've had for you know how I'm gonna like change the world like and then that's that lackluster performance that like not hitting the mark sort of standard like that's just i don't know they're just making their faction making their own faction of it you know it's like the, these factions all these anarcho factions it's like none of them are anarchy like none of them are just simply like freedom you know like in nature so it's like mm -hmm. everyone wants to make their own little flavor and and alter it to fit their agenda and these guys agendas aren't to change they don't want to even try and stop eating eggs and butter why do you need eggs and butter if you're already almost there just do it pussy like yeah. because of ancestral background oh and yeah can't. well guess what your ancestors ate a lot more than just butter and eggs so how about be consistent but the real thing is that really bugs me is the feeding it to your kids thing that's really scumbaggery um they have no choice yeah, you're, you're and you generation. basically force it down their throat yeah you're mm. you're indoctrinating the next generation into the death cult good job Aren't you supposed to like focus on your kids and at least do right with your kids before you're trying to teach other people shit? Like fucking a, dude. You literally force shit down your kids' throats. They have no choice but to eat what you feed them. You're, you're forcing things down your kids' throats that you haven't thoroughly researched enough, and you're just allowing yourself to believe something about 
nutrition and spirituality and ancestral whatever you know like you were saying like yeah for yourself all right experiment away but when you're talking about feeding kids then it's yeah you're or feeding any other being you know? um, yeah there's no informed consent or in the yeah. equation yeah exactly and then you know what like, i know the the other side would say okay well you're the kids don't have a choice to not be vegan right so you're forcing veganism on them but it's completely, again, you need to hold yourself to even higher, more rigorous standards when you're bringing another life into this realm. And so you need to study it more like, I'm, I'm sorry, bringing up the blood type diet and the ancestral stuff. I mean, where is some, some sort Cringe. of evidence where some base of people do better on a certain diet and you know we have the opposite we show people across all races benefiting all humans benefiting from a certain type of diet and hint, hint plant-based but yeah or at least largely plant-based the majority it's just um it's uh it's immoral yeah. you know you're walking the line of you know immorality and ignorance ignorance like in the whole so I'm just going to err on the side of eating animals. Like, I don't really know if it's more all night, but I'm just going to continue it when it, where it's like the smart person would be, I don't know it's a moral, so I'm not going to partake and just err on the side of caution. Um, but mm -hmm. the, yeah, the feeding your kids, ugh, I could, that's like the last, ugh, that's so gross. And like me, me and Allie, we didn't like meat when we were kids. I remember not like eating meat. I was raised vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And the first couple times I ate meat, I was like, fucking gross. What is this? No, I remember. Yeah, no, I mean, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Braxton. No, no, you go. I'll okay, I was going to say, like, I'm, you know, I'm not a parent, so I can't really, like, I don't have that sort of, like, firsthand experience. I don't have that perspective. But, I mean, I've seen... I saw a video a while back that like really just kind of like made me think a little more about it. Like there's that one, uh, I think it was like a little Italian kid and his mom was like trying to have him eat. Uh, what was it? That one like octopus. Um, I can't remember the name for it, but like was trying to get him to eat that. And like, he didn't want to eat it. And, um, and, um, she basically explained to him what it was and as soon as um as soon as he found out he's like why would we eat that and like he started getting sad and like made his mom cry because how like wholesome and like heartbreaking the moment was like when he realized it was being done yeah yep 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 crazy well crazy. i think we should call it a night i'm pretty tired that was a lot of talking. <laughs> yeah, I got a good episode in, though. That was a lot of good conversations. Yeah. Uh, all right, y'all. Thanks to the viewers. Please like, subscribe. Uh, I know I never say that, but no one really is subscribing. Or, like, a lot of the people who watch the show aren't subscribed, which is stupid. Or it's just a bunch of carnists hating. Even if you're a hater, subscribe. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. Come on. Join the Come on. It's fun. Come on. Bring them on. All right. Peace. Peace.